Okay. Screw it. Let's just wing it. I'm not going to reset this run at all. And I'm probably going to make a lot of mistakes. But yeah, keep in mind the contest, the testing conditions at the top. I'm going to try my best to focus on gold. I'm not really going to upgrade as much. Um, only unless I like have to. Probably I'll do it on weapons. And I might not think too much about materials. I don't want to worry too much, but yeah. Um, I'm going to upgrade potions no matter what. Um, I will be farming all aspects in this run. Um, we'll be using... We'll be trying to keep five skill points available on my my board. I might occasionally mess up, but I'll try to make sure that I revert it as I'm respecking. Um, I've got to keep 20 Paragon points available as well when I get to 50. And keep in mind, I've also never ever run Fallen Temple before without getting like power leveled or something, so... It's gonna be an experience for me, I guess. I don't know. I don't. I have no idea about the mechanics of that fight, so we'll see. As the uh, the little notes say up here, I'm winging it 100%. But yeah, you guys will see my route soon, and I'll probably end up covering this again. But let's go. We got the speed tattoos for speed. But yeah, this is going to be a lot more casual in comparison to my usual speedruns. I'll probably have like a few moments where I sort of like chill, take some breaks, and try and figure out like inventory management. But again, town is lava, so i got to try to be quick when I'm doing all that kind of stuff. I've got a couple of plans, but it's going to be conditional as well. So like for example, I'm going to be trying to push to 28 through Lost Archives. And then um, probably pushing a little bit early, depending on if I get a big item upgrade. Like a staff or something. Like a high level staff. But yeah, we'll see. All right, I gotta start the timer fresh. <laughs> no, this is serious. Oh yeah, I might also switch between World Tier 1 and 2 partway through the run, depending on whether or not I'm clearing dungeons. But yeah, let's go. I'll start the timer now, since this is kind of like the official start start. Okay, uh, let's go to Yulesna. I cannot do that here. So I gotta keep five skill points available, which means this, 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 and this, this. <laughs> no, this is serious. What up, Jimmy? Thanks for the good luck. I might also try and like stop and farm a couple of mats on the way here and there, but yeah. Like for example, if I see this, I'll just grab it. We'll stop by this event first. Oh, right, I gotta touch the pillar. I forgot. It's actually a fun little bug. You can get up on the mount and start working on your next thing. Getting up on your mount while you're on this event actually keeps the little thing going forward. For some reason, this one's bugged though, which is weird. Oh, I guess it was going up, I just didn't notice. Probably pop iron chunks like that on the way. I want to clear this density while I'm here. I'm out of mana. Gonna quickly grab teleport. Still have five skill points available. Clear this density. I'm not ready yet. I cannot do that here. Okay, off to Dead Man's, I guess, but we have to do the event to the right of it first. What aspects am I farming in order? Um, 
everything needed for ice shards, and I'm going in order of the lowest level and the highest level dungeons, basically. There is probably like a better build and spec for all of this kind of stuff, but I'm just sort of, as I said, just winging it a bit. I kind of want to try and hit 5 before I get to the event because that's when you start getting a couple of interesting item drops. And when you actually start the event it starts at like your relative level. Let's go back here, put a couple of points here. We demand blood. I'm gonna destroy a couple of these while I'm waiting. So that way Chain Lightning has less things to bounce off. Wait for everything to come into the middle and just slap it. So yeah, still got five skill points available. Can some favor RNG actually? Can some favor RNG actually be good? Or just straight ignore if not in the path? Uh, it depends on what you mean. Like, are you talking about, like, for example, if I find an aspect and just ignore it? Ignore farming for it, yeah, you could probably work around that too, but then I feel like at some point you're always going to be getting upgrades, so you're going to need to like rotate things on the codex. It depends on what piece of gear you don't want on. So like, let's say you find like a GG ring and you work with it for a little while. A GG ring or a GG ami, you could work with those for a while and whatever aspect you plan to put on that, you could put it on there. But those are the only exceptions. And other things, like there's, there's a lot of RNG factors that you have to take into consideration, but yeah. <clears throat> so this place has no boss. Very good. Got animus carriers to kill there. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna have to remind me to split by the way. I will forget. Nice, we got some crushed beast bones, that's good. The one downside about probably spamming Kordragan is that we're not going to find many good materials like that, but hopefully some of these dungeons and outdoor worlds just kind of give us that stuff in general. It's probably a better, day, better idea to kite this guy with me, actually. Kite him to the next one. I've got to stay in range so he doesn't de-aggro. Right, I leveled it, cool. I saw a wand. I need time to prepare that. <coughs> yeah, world tier, th world tier 3 unlocks at 40. You can enter the dungeon at 39.5. And it will work for you that way. But yeah. Did I leave Animus back anywhere? I'm not ready yet. Gas chest is alright. We'll do that while we're here. Sort item priority. That's an upgrade. First aspect, um, I actually don't know the aspects. <laughs> I only know the dungeons that unlock them. I'm assuming this is either piercing cold or uh, something like that. I'm just farming everything that I need for ice shards later on. We don't respec into ice, into ice shards until we're 28 because with five skill points that's when we'd have uh, avalanche unlocked. Either avalanche or shatter depending on which I want to run. It'll probably be shatter when I'm in uh, the first part of Quadragon but once I get ice shards enchantment then I switch over to avalanche. Oh, I still have an extra point available. Interesting. Yeah. 
I'm not ready yet. No, I haven't got the extra renown from this place yet, so... I just had a skill point that I didn't I'm use, I didn't realize. Like, I started on 58, 58 million gold, so... Like, roughly. I mean, I'm gonna... Obviously, I had like 800 gold extra or something like that, but... Yeah. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Unfortunately, for this event, there's not much really to do besides run around and play with your dick for a bit, but... Because none of these guys give XP, so this is kind of just a waste of time. I'm going to start saving mana from this point. I'm not ready yet. But I have a written guide for the leveling strat. The thing is like this is all me just winging it and kind of doing what feels natural or what feels right. I'm not sure if I'll do a written guide or a video guide. I'll probably try to make a video if I can, but otherwise I'll at least post whatever this is. Assuming that I can clear Fallen Temple. I really don't think I'm going to be able to clear Fallen Temple. Just saying. Like, I'm not confident. But we'll see. I'm a bit of a gamer, but I will probably die to him at least five times before I clear it. Oh, bless you. I need time to prepare. You think Ball Lightning Stalk is doable for speed farming? Probably in the end game, yeah. It looks like with the mastery, like buff to mastery skills and stuff, yeah, it's probably viable. Destruction is huge for that. So the idea that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that I keep on full mana, right? Uh, no, sorry, I'm trying to make sure that I don't stay full mana. I cast one Chain Lightning when I get close to full mana, and I basically just keep Arc Lashing, and I cast Chain Lightning as soon as most of the density is gone. Trying to prioritize as many Chain Lightning bounces on that guy as I can while I'm running. That's pretty much the idea that I'm going for here with that. I got a helmet, nice. Got a free prisoner. Uh, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. That's the only downside, I'm kind of running these layouts blind since I haven't run most of these dungeons in a long time, or at all. Well, I say at all, but I did clear every dungeon on my main. I just don't remember them all, you know? Okay, uh, we probably would go glass cannon here still. Let's think. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a staff, I'm curious. Alright. I'm getting ambushed by elites. They were weak, what the hell? Am I strong? I'm confused. Ah, oh, prisoner. Safe. You're safe with me now, don't worry. Wait, what are you doing here? I'll slay the alpha, that's the last guy. Alright, cool. Um, now that means we're back to town. Do you have a shed? Am I 10? I didn't see. No, I'm not. Not while I'm in town. Right, let's quickly get rid of all these, I think. Actually, this I want to equip. And uh, all items can go. Anything breaks, the forge is hot. Okay, off to Lost Archives. Got some nice events on the way down this one. Well, there's one event on the way, but there's nice density at least Not once you get close to it. Am I making a guide? I'm not really like making a guide guide, so to speak, but I'm kind of just winging it, you know? I gotta constantly keep checking my skill points as well to make sure that I'm not either using too many or holding on to too many for this test. Whip that. 
come over here. There's a couple of guys, I'm pretty sure. Usually there's an elite over here. A couple of dudes down here that I want to whip into shape. I lack the needed mana. Teleport onto that to break it. Oh, I'm getting a bit of lag. Who the fuck kills deer in this game? Look, I was looking for a chain lightning bounce, dude. Relax. Can't help myself. Sometimes you just gotta kill deer for maximum efficiency, right? I don't make the rules. Demon heart. Yeah, basically I don't want to ever stay full mana without casting Chain Lightning. Like once I'm at full mana, I have to cast at least one Chain Lightning somewhere. Otherwise I try to whip everything into shape as best I can. Okay, we split. Yep, already factored it in, as you can see. All the notes are at the top there on the top left. You'll see, like, everything, all of the conditions that I'm following for this run. It's not going to be like 100% exact to a season start, but it's going to be close. Oh, the wall, right. I'm out of uh, uh. What? Where's the remaining enemy? Huh? I've been bugged? Question mark? I'm not ready yet. Why? Why now? Cringe. Red dot bottom? Why is he running? What was his problem, dude? I need time to prepare that. Don't ask why I mounted up there. That was a waste. Alright, we leveled, which means more into glass cannon. I think there's an ambush here real quick. Yep. Why could I not click that altar? Oh, I guess they're all like claimed on new characters. Interesting. Let's quickly go to the blacksmith. All items. Good luck with the attempts. Love your dedication. Ah, oh, thanks, Vlog. Thank you for the good luck. So the only issue is now that we're a lot slower until we're actually 15. Like 15 and 25 is where like speed starts to actually pick up a bit in these places. I'm gonna actually start looting certain extra things as well, like demon hearts. If I see any like, you know, season start stuff that you want, I'm gonna probably loot it if I see it. If I don't see it, then obviously it just goes in the bin. We're getting close to potentially being able to have more. Actually, I think the all stats is better. We'll be going to firewall at some point yes for a little bit probably from like uh i think it's 15 until 28 ish it depends on how much it falls off i think at some point i might not be able to kill elites very easily it might take me like a few extra little bits without the extra skill points yeah. am i trying dungeon strats this run i'm trying dungeon strats yes I need time. dungeon strats until until i can access quadragon like, Kodragon is something I can do from the moment I get all aspects. Like, I'm going to be doing dungeon aspects in this run as well. So I'll probably start Kodragon farming somewhere close to like 33-ish. 
give or take. I need time to prepare that. Staff is an upgrade. The good thing about having a staff as well is that you actually benefit from the crowd control, right? And that's something that people don't really consider much is but what you can do is you can save mana for chain lightning, try and isolate the elite, stun it with the the tenth, like the tenth hit here, because if you pay attention to your R clash, you can stun it and then deal like big chunks of damage if it's just you and the elite fighting each other. But it doesn't always line up like that, like obviously I'm whipping these guys for bonus movement speed and just whipping them so I can get around quicker. But yeah, if you can try and save a decent chunk of uh, mana for chain lightning burst, you can just do it that way. Also we got a nice little layout here, we can just teleport over the wall. And the only event worth doing in Lost Archives as well, by the way, is the altar of Bishibosh. Everything else is trash. Actually, if you start marking things as junk, I think. Oops. I just realized I've been holding out on skill points. My damage. Quadragon Barracks until what level? Probably until 60. I just have to do the Capstone T3 in between that. I do it, I do Quadragon probably from like 33, 35 or something like that until 39. And then um, from there... Okay, I think here's where I reset the dungeon. Oops, I need to leave. A little quick tip as well, guys, is that you can click and then enter when you do this, so click enter. Should be reset, hopefully. I didn't see the message pop up, but yeah. If I got the bug, then I'm unlucky, and then I have to leave game. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I got the bug. Yep, I got the bug. Oh, that's unlucky. I'm gonna have to leave. I should probably check that the first time around, but yeah, I think leaving game- Oh, I might have left too soon. Fuck, I think I might end up back in Kyovashad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, one trick to either speed up or brick your game. Obviously in this case I bricked it. Yep, I think I'm in Kyovashad. Damn it. I left too fast. Well, this run sucks now. Yeah, at least I got the waypoint, but yeah, there's an issue where if you like leave the leave the game too fast when you're outside of a dungeon, it'll just port you back to the beginning like that. Not while I'm in town. A little bit annoying, but yeah. It always says party member in the game when you get the bug. Yes. I just didn't look at the message because I was trying to be fast, but unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, the video game does not like me being fast. So we probably lost about two minutes to that. Give or take. No, not two minutes, like a minute. What's, what's the best way to level on a fresh character? I'm showing you now. Or at least on a sorceress, I don't know about everything else. I mean, probably dungeon spamming is like the most universal like thing you could do if you're just chilling and relaxing. If you're just having a nice time and hanging out. And probably World Tier 1, maybe, if you're not a full-on gamer. But yeah, if the reset function actually works for dungeons, then yeah. That'd be the way. Otherwise you can do the same thing by just leaving and rejoining as well like I did there. A couple of events on the way at the beginning of the game is probably good. Prior to the dungeons. The other thing as well is I started fresh with Orbals, which means I can st I can gamble in this run. 
I'll probably make a note of that when I actually go up to the vendor, just so that people know, because that's something I didn't write on the notes at the top. I can gamble in this run. I, need time to prepare that. I did start fresh with zero. Or at least I should have. I might have trolled myself here by teleporting there. I could die, potentially. Wait, I have an extra skill point again. Uh, I think I usually go on the speed flame shield for a little bit. You don't understand how much slower campaign is at the beginning, Mouse. Why not use an XP potion? I'm replicating a season start, so I wouldn't be using elixirs here. And also, by the looks of things, I'm probably going to be getting shafted by the fact that I have to relog every time anyway. Unfortunately, that is the video game for us right now. At what level with the nerfs? What do you mean? I mean, in a, like, are you asking for a season start or are you asking for a speedrun? Because if you're asking for a season start or like an alt, leveling an alt, uh, sorry, yeah, speedrun, uh, so season start for Kordragon would be like, um, oops, uh, I think this is probably better, this combo, isn't it? Yeah, it looks better. Int on the pants is nice. I need armor. I take big armor upgrades like that sometimes, even if the stats are bad. Yeah, we need to think about our next set of points. That's firewall down here. But yeah, if it's for season star, I'm really not sure. Like, you probably want to be in there by like, like if you're hardcore, you definitely want to be in there probably by like 35 plus. But I, I, if you're hardcore, I wouldn't run it, dude. I wouldn't run it. It's not worth it. Especially if you're not like a full-on gamer. You have to be a very sweaty gamer to run Kordragon. At least they pull off the pool the way that myself and uh, Keevan do it. Start sorting things a little bit. Nothing upgrade worthy. Do I do the end boss? Not on this dungeon. I constantly reset until I'm 16. Once I'm once I'm 16 and I've gone for the uh, enchant quest, because you can do the enchant quest at 15, right? But I want to be 16 or getting close to 16. Like I want to be like 15.8 ish, and then I'll go line up for it. Because I want to try my luck at getting a higher level codex power. I think the codex, if I'm not mistaken, I think that codex that drops from the re the like reward is high level, so unless I had like a really good staff that I just dropped beforehand, like at level 15, then I'd probably go do that at a slightly later level. If I can try to get it at 16, it'd be better. Because to be honest, you really don't need Fireball Enchant that badly until like 20-ish. But I do do end boss at some point because I do need the uh, Aspect here. I do need Aspect of the Protector. It's an important one for this build. Not seeing any green. What's the new level strat? Uh, we spend a lot of time in Lost Archives at the moment as a Sork. And then afterwards we go back to Kordragon and then it's just Kordragon, Kordragon, Kordragon until Capstone and then Kordragon, Kordragon, Kordragon until Capstone. I mean, assuming I can do T4 capstone, like I said, never done it before, so it's going to be a learning experience for me, but... Whew. That'd be crazy. I actually should really pick up all this gear so I can salvage it next time I get the chance. Want to grab this box? No Onyx anymore? No, I think Onyx is out of the rotation. It's just too bad in comparison. Like, it's, it's, it's out of the way. The issue is with the reset dungeon button, like, that's huge. That's a huge change. If it weren't for the reset dungeon button, I'd argue that maybe Onyx could still be good. But yeah, Onyx is probably only really going to be good for groups. 
you're on Kordragon as a team. No Surat's Lair. I think Surat's Lair is good for groups on World Tier 3. I don't think it's good in World Tier 2. I tried it earlier and it like there's not many elites on World Tier 2. So I think it's one of those dungeons where it probably pops off around like World Tier 3, World Tier 4. Because that's the other thing as well, is, is if a lot of that testing that Dry Bear has done is all like based on just like elite density and stuff like that. There's a lot of biases depending on how fast a class can clear it, like if you have like speedy mobility and stuff. It's a big upgrade. Let's see what the stats on this. Lucky hit dexterity. Lucky hit willpower. I lack the needed man. Oh yeah, I've got the point available, but I don't really need it that bad. Firewall points are only important once you need once you get up to mage mage's firewall. That's like the most important one for it. Okay, uh, I think I leave the dungeon here and see if I can actually reset. Nothing upgrade worthy, I think. Nope, I have to leave game. Can't leave too fast though. Because if I leave too fast, the game is like, actually, you don't get to be here. Hopefully they put me back here. I don't, I, I don't know, for some reason the leave game button is coming up a lot more than I remember. Dev stream's gonna be spicy? Yeah. What's your best bet for group runs? I, I'm not sure, honestly. I haven't like factored in groups because I'll probably be solo, so. If you guys want group, uh, Advice, I'd probably follow someone like Rob, or maybe like the PoE Sweat Boys, or like Ben and his group maybe. If he's running in a group, I don't know if he's doing SSF this run. I don't know who's doing what, I don't know like what people's plans are. I'm not ready yet. But yeah, Rob is probably the one big guy to follow for groups. There's also like another group as well running. Also uh, the D2 Speedrunner Boys as well. I don't really know if the D2 speedrunner boys are being very public about what they're doing there. They probably have some hidden strats that they haven't told anyone about. I mean, at the end of the day, the meta shifted, so... Yeah, that'd be like gym and stuff. Jim, Makal, Blucky. By the way, Makal, who is your group? Because I've been asking Jim, I thought I was playing in a group, like, he was he was giving me the impression that it was going to be, like, you, Lucky, Macabre, wait, when did I say you, Macabre, you, Lucky, and, like, I don't know, splitting off into, like, another group or something like that. And then, like, Jim was going to, like, create another group as well, because we have, like, a bunch of people, there's obviously, like, Vitruth as well. So Vitruth is running with you guys, for sure. Is Jim running with you as well? Is it, like, you four? Or is Jim doing his own thing? I'm so confused, dude. Do I really want to take this shrine that badly? 15 split. Like, it's a conduit and I have to walk with it. I don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna, like, not get much out of it, honestly. Okay, so we need Mage's Firewall here, and this is where we start doing the fun stuff, where we just burn and run, burn and run. It's gonna be a lot weaker than what I'm, what I'm used to, but maybe I'll have to put it down to World Tier 1 soon. I don't know if that Elite died back there, but hopefully he did. I also don't know my damage right now. I haven't had an upgrade in a while, so it might be a pretty abysmal. Yeah, we might as well take the Weathered Bow. Let's see, do we have any upgrades? Doesn't look like it at the moment. Five points available still. What's the strats for groups? I don't know, like, my guess would be, like, you'd probably have people split farming dungeon aspects and stuff like that a little bit. 
early on like world tier one and then switch over to world tier two when you're about to do like big xp group stuff people are probably doing onyx still people are probably either going to be doing temple of rot or maybe Cordragon if you can pull off a crazy pull like the sork style stuff i have seen that it, people have been doing really good ones that event's bad so i'm gonna skip it and like i said the only good event here is uh altar of bishy bush Sometimes I'm going to leave random pieces of gear on the floor back there like that. Oh my god, can you not, bro? I'm literally just try- Oh, I'm fucked. I'm dead. I'm dead. Like, I'm 100% dying here. I'm not ready yet. Unless... I don't think I can kill him either. Oh, maybe I can, actually. Nope, I definitely can't. Holy... Can I get out in some way, or can I get away from him? Ah! Nope. Definitely can't. <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright, well this is a good point for me to reset anyway. I do need to, uh... I do need to actually go to start the enchant quest. Reminder, not hardcore viable. <laughs> I'm surprised there's no event there. Please forgive the Let's have a look, what do we have? Nothing. Um, oh, boost with movement speed, that's huge. I need more time. Wait a minute. Oh, I just realized I didn't reset. Um Uh actually that's fine. I can I can still just run this. I've partially cleared it, so it's it's fine. Actually, is it? I don't know. It's inefficient XP, at least. Uh, I don't know. I don't like this. I'm in already, so I don't really want to deal with the loading screen. But usually in this in, in this case, what I'd do is I'd walk out of the dungeon, reset, and then take the quest. I think... Yeah, like I'd walk out, leave the game, or reset the dungeon, depending on what I can do. Yeah, at least we can take the conduit now, I guess. Dude, imagine if I had the conduit. I should have kited him back here. Fuck, what was I thinking? Okay, so I already see the codex up there, actually, which is nice. It's already revealed for me. Can I actually, like, latch onto anything? Is there anything here? Nope. I'm just a nice little conduit. Okay. Let's leave the dungeon again. Well, that was inefficient in terms of experience, but yeah. I've had like two minus thirty to one minute time losses here already in this run, I need more time. but I'm just gonna keep going through with it because why not? Let's see. So spamming dungeons is the strat f from the start at level one. Right, not quite. You get, get a couple of events early if you can. Properly. Okay, this spec is where I get a bit confused. I'm not sure what I want to actually run here. Um, the fires are lit, my dude. Looks like some of these pages are damaged. So I think what I would have to do is I'd probably have to take these points away, in order to be like, yes, 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 yes. I refuse to caution. Keep me from the secrets of this book. I've come too far. I'm not sure. I think I still keep Arclash because I think Arclash is good for keeping the movement speed up on this one. But I think we swap into lightning ball, uh, fireball a little bit. Wait, I need a couple points back there. You have to take a firm hand with these spirits. <clears throat> Something is wrong. How far are we away from unlocking this? Four points away. No. Just one point into fireball. You think so? Wrong. No, I'm kidding. You might actually be right. Actually, no. You might be wrong. At this point into the run, I'd probably just need the one. I, I need the multiple. So I think here I leave this dungeon.
Uh, instead of leaving dungeon there, I actually probably could have just teleported to the edge. That's fine. And then we'll go this way. We'll check the uh, the weapon. Should be an upgrade by default. Yep. Did I reset this dungeon? I still haven't reset it. God damn it, dude. Need to leave this dungeon. Extra loading screen for nothing. Does the reset button work yet? Oh yeah, true, I should have tried it there. It's been bugging out for me a little bit today, but yeah. What the hell? Why am I back here? Dude, that's so annoying. I guess I might have- oh yeah, I'll just go to Nevesk anyway. How's this horse so fast? I'm moving my cursor to the edge of the screen. I don't think I have any upgrades here, so all junk, all items. Not while I'm in town. I do have potion upgrade available, which I could consider at some point. But yeah, basically if you move your cursor to the edge of the screen and then you tap twice for the charges, it goes faster. This is still a thing? Wait, what is? Oh, the TPing back to town. I don't know why that happened. I guess I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer. I might have to sit there. Oh yeah, I didn't place the enchantment. Thanks for that. I'm not ready yet. Had a gear. I need time to prepare that. I need time to prepare that. Gotta get out of that frozen thing. I'm not ready yet. Kodragan after this? No, I have to go do dungeon aspects. Like I said, this is a season start practice, kind of. It's I'm not going to be 100% like season 1 start. Because obviously, I'm not factoring how much gold I've got. Right now, so far, I've only farmed 15k worth of gold. So, that's all I have to work with. And I need about 37,000 for, like, a couple of respects here and there. Like, as long as I'm staying above 58 million, that means I'm not using too much gold in this run so far. I guess I have already used some gold. Like, I did respect just then, so I had to think about my points a bit more. The other thing as well is I have to be a bit more conscious with my points because, like, I can use more points right now, technically, but I can't allocate more points. So, like, that's why I was taking out points from nodes that, like, still have requirements or whatever because I want to try to keep it as close to authentic as possible. Oh, fuck. That was a bad tell you. Not picking up the box? Oh, I didn't see it. I wasn't paying attention. I need time to Definitely should have. Chain lightning, that's never mind. No, I hit butcher again. I'm not ready yet. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I've been savaging at the moment, Mouse, so nothing but savaging. Now let's see if I can actually reset dungeons. Nope. So I guess it's leave game time. Gonna try and wait a bit. Hopefully that doesn't put me back. <laughs> Butcher wants to help with the practice. <laughs> yep. 
for potion upgrade? Yeah, it's probably a thing. There's a couple of side quests that you could do real easy there for a thing. And I talked about this as well. I said if I really desperately need a couple of those mats for side quests, I'll recreate characters at level one and just use the do the side quest at the beginning. That one gives you one up to one or two of each of every single material and up to like eight galavine. That would be the lazy man's method for sure. But in terms of like other things like crushed beast bones and stuff, I just have to hope that I find like a good mix of them from whatever it is that I might be farming. I'm not ready yet. Oh. Right, well. There's a boss that drops five bones in the world every time. Probably be good to make a note of that just in case. But to be honest, I feel like you won't have trouble as long as you're running it. Like, if you've got, like, all your dungeons in the route. I feel like I already saw in Dead Man's Dredge alone, I saw, like, four or five crushed beast bones or something like that. I want to try and kite a couple other things or kite him into this room with these dudes. not doing anything for me right now. Okay, we get to cheat and skip over here. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a minimum level. You have to be level... Um, what is it, chat? 40? I tested it yesterday, I should know. Should really have advanced to a tip compare on, but the problem is since I'm leaving games so frequently, it's a bit annoying to do that. Oops. Thought I could make it over that wall, but I guess I can't. I'm not ready yet. Finally an upgrade. Bro, that's such a big upgrade, holy. I feel like my damage was already pretty good. I'm not ready yet. Out of mana once again. I need time to prepare that. You there, I'm not helping. Of mana. 
Yeah, having like filters for auto junk would be amazing. I agree, Ron. Just chill for a bit while we wait for the video game to do its thing. I gotta make sure I don't leave too fast, otherwise it's gonna balk things. <clears throat> I think it's just for Sork Snipes. Unless there's another class that can leave damage over time spells on the ground that they can walk into. Maybe Rogue could do it with like poison trap puddles or something, but I don't know enough about how Rogue works. I legit do not know anything about other classes. I just see them do more damage than me and I start crying. It's because a lot of the monsters are very fast and there's like the corridors. What you do is you just leave a firewall down and the firewall kills all the trash in three seconds because Mage's firewall makes them burn for three three more seconds after they've passed through the firewall. Oops, I wasn't supposed to use that. So like what watch what happens here, right? I'm walking here, I put a firewall and they all walk through it. I put a firewall down, they all walk through it. I group them up. Put the frost nova down, and since fireball explodes, it works really well like that. Demon's heart. We're gonna have a lot of demon's heart from this, I guess. But as long as they all walk through it, they all just die. As you can see. The idea is that you just like walk in a place where they'll all run into it, so they all run into that. All of them through there will run into that. All these guys will be forced to chase me into this. All of those guys in that room will cross and walk over that firewall and die to it. Here's where the damage is probably going to start falling off a bit. Oh, speaking of which, I need to put more points in the firewall. Wait, what? Oh, what? I haven't seen- oh my god. I haven't seen one of the other elites still. I didn't realize he was still alive. Trolling. Nice little amulet for cheeky resistance, I guess. I'm not ready yet. Might as well just wait for my tele cooldown. here with dudes in it surely. I'm not ready yet. No, I wanted to get in there. I wanted to like dash in there but I didn't have a dash up. That would have been so much better if I did that that way. It's fine though. Yet. The other thing as well guys is that this is also on world tier 2 so like the fact that these guys are still getting one shot I'm and I'm just ready. all I'm doing is just casting and running casting and running most of the time. The only exception is like this elite here is going to take like a little bit longer. I might have to stand here and fight him for like an extra like I don't know 4-5 seconds. Wait, actually compare. I've got crit damage, damage to close. <laughs> you're practicing in hardcore and you met the butcher and you're dead? Yeah. I'm not ready yet. Yeah. Sometimes it do be like that. I lack the needed mana. I'm not ready yet.
<clears throat> Fishy bush? Nope, that's the bad one too. I'm not ready yet. Weak assault elixir. Interesting. I, need time to I will use elixirs if I find them, by the way. But there's no point in doing that right now, not until I'm up to dungeon dungeon stuff. Because otherwise I'm just going to overwrite my elixir. Wait, have I already been through the other side? I'm confused. What the fuck? Oh, I have. Interesting. Where's the other box? Wait, did I put one down? I must have already automatically placed it. Or I must have placed it without realizing. Oh, I have it on my back, true. Good point. Maybe? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. What dungeon did you do before going to Lost Archives? I did uh, Dead Man's Dredge for an aspect. It gets me uh, piercing cold. I think before my damage starts to fall off way too hard, I'm gonna probably kill uh, the dude. I probably should have done it while I was chain lightning spec. That would have been a little bit more intelligent, but unfortunately our brains don't work very well. The reset dungeon back is, a th is back. Yeah, I've tried it. It doesn't work for me at the moment. It's bugged. It bugs out randomly. Unfortunately. Big upgrade. Okay, yeah, definitely kill boss here on this one. Yeah, it like, it, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but it hasn't worked for me at the moment. So far today. It's a, it's a known issue that it just like bugs out randomly. Thank you, though. You've been lucky so far? Yeah. I was really lucky yesterday. I had like a lot of, uh, had a lot of good runs where I didn't have to worry too much about it. But then, like, as of today, it's just been bad all day. Is this a, what, okay, this is a challenge run. Ooh. Okay, this one's actually worth fighting for. I'd say. I'm not ready yet. I think channeling is really good to fight for, especially if monsters are going to come to me. Crash shrines generally aren't worth it, but at least here in this case, like in this corridor, I can just sort of sit here and just relax. I need time to Failed that telly, no. I'm not ready yet. Pretty good level twenty split considering the fact that we've had to encounter fucking butcher. Prepare that. 
Basically, Onyx is just the thing that got removed from this route so far. At least for sol solo sorceress. Onyx is probably still up, th up on the table for, like, groups. But I think, honestly, groups are probably just better off, like, getting Renown and getting skill point damage and stuff, you know? So in this one, I think I'm actually clearing the quest. And if I'm gonna do that, I actually have to go back and place this down, I just remembered. I'm not ready yet. Since this was the dungeon where I got my upgrades, so... Oh, come on. Why? It's gonna be a weak boss kill, but... It'll be worth it. And another fun fact as well is that when you actually place that down, you get full cooldown resets on that, on everything, so... You can just pop your cooldowns. It's only when you place it down there, not when you pick it up. Yeah, I think, like, usually I would do this earlier, maybe with the Chain Lightning, and as soon as I get my first big weapon upgrade, but... The good thing about this boss is that he actually has dudes that come in. Whoa. I think it's probably a good idea to uh, just leave leave the game for this one. Because then that way I get ported back into Kjelvishad. What is giving you your mana sustain? What do you mean? Nothing. I'm just dropping a firewall and they're all running through it. <laughs> I'm just not using mana that much. Okay, uh, let's quickly sort by vendor, upgrade, that's an upgrade. I have a ring here that needs to swap on with that. And then I think the rest is trash if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's quickly do uh, all items. Come back if you Probably drop that. My gold is on 20k, so as long as I'm above thingy then we're good. Hey Phoenix. Alright, so that's two aspects unlocked so far. I cannot do that here. I need a little bit of cheeky gallivine. A little bit of cheeky gallivine. Going for Ghostwalker? No, nah, I won't be using that for a little while. That's well, that'd probably be something I'd do if I were to continue the season. But for speedrunning to World Tier 4, no. I need we need shared misery a little bit more. Oh my game is getting laggy. I'm gonna show ping real quick. Why am I at hundred? What's going on here? If I do actually DC or something like that, I will pause the timer, but I hope not. Oh, actually, wait, no, hold on. Wait, is there something giving you mana sustain? Oh, it's major. Wait, there's something on uh, Firewall, isn't there? No. Nope, there is nothing giving me sustain. Oh, that was... I zoomed fast for a second there, but I think that was lag. I need time to that. What aspects am I looking for? I need Protector, Might, Disobedience... Uh, Alexander Fireball is huge, actually. 
I need a uh, protector, might, disobedience for my defensives on my helm, armor, and chest piece. Or my helm, pants, and chest piece. Yeah. Dude, I'm lagging bad. What's going on here? Uh, then I need piercing cold, control. Uh, retribution is also good for boss fights. Um, and then eventually I also need prodigies as well later on. And edge masters and elementalists are kind of just, uh, they're, um, they're whatever. Uh, if you can guys, please try to keep the chat in English. Wow. Wow, I'm, I've got a max roll control. Okay. Never mind, chat. Everything is fine. Actually, that's kind of bad, though. I mean, I could put it on an amulet, I guess. What the fuck? That's so insane. And it has eye shards on it. What? I could take that, like, all the way to endgame. I'm still gonna play this like a normal star, though, so I'm not gonna factor in, like, me getting shit like that. I'll treat it like a normal le legendary and probably just vendor it. I need time to prepare or maybe I'll just hold on to it for the sake of holding on to it. Like maybe I might use it for like way later when I need it against like Elias or something. I'll try like a couple of Elias fights without it and see if I need it. But I'm still, like I said, I'm still gonna try and treat this like a normal thing. Dude, I'm getting some laggy issues right now. What's going on now? I already have a mechanical box. I'm not ready yet. This fight all gonna be the best to go. It's just for the best. it's just the best pre-25, I think. After 25, you might be trolling a little bit if you're still running this. Oh, dude, I'm lagging so bad. What's going on here? I don't know if it's me. Like, I'm not dropping frames at the moment, so I think it's the servers. It's like 1 in the morning. Why are the servers acting up like this? I'm not ready yet. So technically right now I could go do like Dark Ravine and stuff, but I want to go do those when I um, am 28, I think. Is it 28? I think it's 28 that I have to be when I'd unlock the extra stuff. Maybe it's 30 actually, maybe I have to be 30. Probably like 29 or something. I don't know why I said 28. Yeah, it takes 8 more skill points for me to get there. Which means I need 8 more levels, so I have to be 29. I'm not ready yet. What aspect did I grab? Uh, at the moment I've got Piercing Cold and I think Protector so far. But I'll be getting more as I go. I need time to prepare that. I'm just basically prepping for eye shards, like the spec that I need for eye shards. Okay, that's a big upgrade probably. Let's have a look. I need time to prepare that.
Let's go, my first enemy. No, don't freeze. What's up, Captain? I'm not ready yet. Well, Stark is better than Strongholds. It's just better, well. At least with Firewall right now, at this damage value, it's better. But I don't know how long it scales for. Like, you could, if you want to be brain dead most of the season and you don't want to think, you could probably just run Lost Archives and just run Firewall most of the time. But your damage will start to fall off against elites at some point. Unless you play, like, very sweaty and group them up like this and Flame Shield on top and stuff like that. When using the extra Fireball passives. Turn around, that's a bad event. Brain dead it is. Yeah, I mean you can just switch off your brain and just run around firewalling. It's really good. But when it comes to like actually min-maxing and like speed leveling, Quadragon I think is still better. At least the way that myself and Keevan pull it. I'm not ready yet. Precious matter. I need time to prepare that. I need time to prepare that. crazy how good the other gloves I just got are, the control ones. You know I could literally just use those for the rest of the run. But I don't really want an outlier run, so... Why aren't I using them? Like I said, I don't want an outlier run. I want to test this as authentically as possible. Yeah, it's 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 like the 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 upper end of RNG that I don't want to go for. If I get it in an actual season start, hell yeah, but dude, they're perfectly rolled control aspect. Like, it doesn't get much better than that. Is there any benefit to two mages? It works for both, yeah. I think at least, that's what I've heard. I need time to prepare. Uh, no, I don't think high tier Nightmare Sork is going to be very viable anymore. It will be pretty rough. I need time to prepare that. I need time to prepare that. Oops, I'm never getting this like a Muppet. I'm not ready yet. I need time to prepare that. Yeah. 
I'm not ready yet. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Ah, uh, not at the moment, land god. Yo, Maloney, thank you so much for the prime sub. Appreciate you. No, I was hoping I could sneak that in. Okay, I got it. The only thing you can really do is follow the video that I posted on YouTube. But that even that's a little bit out of date. Like, it uses, like, renowned strats and stuff. I'll probably try to post something that people can follow a little bit more after this today. Because I know a lot of people are going to be, like, looking for this kind of stuff. They're going to be like, how do I get to the highest level possible? I don't know if I'll make like a recap video or not because that's effort. <laughs> and I'm lazy, okay? Look, I'm a speedrunner, dude. Speedrunners are some of the laziest people in the world. I lack the needed mana. I need time to prepare that. There's an elite here, I assume. One of conjuration skills, cooldown reduction, damage reduction. CDR is nice. That's why you ask why flame shit on speedruns. I don't know. There's lots of like objectives that you can do without getting hit because of flame shield. There's lots of uns like if you get CC'd, flame shield takes you out of that. Isama doesn't unless you have the aspect. There's a lot of small like little time saves. Like there, I would have got interrupted, and that's minus two seconds. Getting a hardcore sock to level 100 in season one will be very, very hard without the right gear. I mean, you could get it to you could get it to level 100 in season one very easily. Actually, I completely disagree with that. The only thing is, you'd just be going slow. That's the only thing. I'm not ready yet. Ban slow. I'm not ready yet. Crew down with us, please. In. I need time to prepare that. I need time to prepare that. This is not I'm worth not fighting for. I'm not ready yet. Is 
See, this is where the firewall damage starts to fall off a lot on elites. You could definitely still farm it for trash density. Like, let's have a look at how much XP I get from just, like, killing random trash as I'm running. That whole room there dies, it's like half a bar. Like, I could stay here as long as I want if I were to be brain dead. You could stay here until, like, 35 if you really wanted to. Or more. It's just you really have to have, like, you have to have Inferno up in order to kill elites efficiently. What about Onyx Watchtower? I don't think it's better than this anymore. It's too awkward to kill, the, like, pre-15 because it's just... The monsters are too tanky. Deal more damage. You also don't get that much gear. Like, I feel like I'm getting pretty big gear upgrades from this run so far already. Most of the time. And I think obviously since they increased world tier 2 drops, like, that's probably even more so now. I didn't frost over there. What the fuck? I need time to prepare that. I'm out of potions. Oh shit. Been spamming a little bit too much. Might actually have to go for the potion upgrade soon. I'm not ready yet. Um, okay. Oops, no. Do I wanna leave game? Yeah, I wanna leave game. I need to town quick. <coughs> No, because I want to reset the dungeon boss. That's why. Let's have a quick look and see if we've got anything interesting. Mana cost reduction. Um, probably want to rock that. Actually, that's also good too. Ash has attack speed, fireball. I think that beats what I have. Don't think I have a weapon upgrade here. Nope. You can take what's left. Okay. I want to look into those, maybe. So gear's costing too much at the moment. Let's see, how much does that sell for? 3k each. Um. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to how much I get from uh, the vendor each time I salvage. I haven't been paying attention much, really, but yeah. Not while I'm in town. Yeah, I salvage basically everything at the moment. Once uh, I have enough materials and stuff, I'll probably start selling. Like, once I get to the point where I need gold more, I'll start selling. Because at the moment, I've only accumulated, like, 34k gold. Which is enough for, like, one respect, maybe? The goal to make this, like, an authentic speedrun is to basically stay above 58 million gold.
I need time to prepare. Or at least as close to an authentic run through. I'm not ready yet. It's like those sell for 1k, that sells for 2k. I don't think things will start selling for more until I reach an item break power break point, which I think 360 is the next break, big break point, so. I'm not ready yet. doesn't really start really happening until you're like level 30 plus I think. I need time to prepare. What build am I using to level up? It's mostly a firewall with fireball and I'm using the passive that makes it so that they take more damage based on uh, I think the amount of damage that they take over time in a, time in a duration. And I'm using mage's firewall on this because what happens is that they just walk through it. They walk through it. They continue burning for three seconds and most of the trash just dies. I think I've got another point. Endless pile. I don't know what's 100% best, like I haven't fully optimized this if that's what people are thinking, but... I'm not like the build theory crafting guy, I'm just a guy. Just the speedrunner guy, man, dude, you know? Nice little skull there. I'm not ready yet. Ah, oh, failed. Is Fireball good as a main skill? Not really. I think you're trolling maybe a little bit if you're gonna run that. Big upgrade maybe? Pog? I need time to prepare that. Big upgrade, let's go. What's the staff power? 319, very nice. Uh, you can slap that in there as well. Oh, I already have this. I'm not really navigating this very well, I'm kind of just getting lost in the source. Nope, I'm not helping you. Run. Save yourselves. Oh, split? Thank you. Sorry. That was a late one. I'm way behind on the split there. That's probably like a 120-ish or something. Oh. I actually have to stop paying attention to what my rings and stuff have. I'm not ready yet. No, save me. That's great. I'm gonna use this to remove the slow. Oh no you don't. Yes, the pillar! Let's go. Saved by the pillar. Any chance you'd be okay with us showing your stream from time to time on the season 1 broadcast? Go for it. Absolutely love it. The one thing I would say about Diablo builds though is I'd love for you guys to encourage people to do SSF. Like if you were to have people do SSF signups, and then obviously if they group up at any point during their runs they get uh, disqualified. I think that'd be cool. Like having a solo leaderboard. But it'd be a little bit hard to pull that off, I guess. When you're having to manually add people to a different type of list. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be featured on that.
and also awesome stuff. I'm glad that you guys are at least uh, the ones doing it and you know obviously it should be Blizzard but yeah indie dev company. <laughs> nah I'm kidding. Something you'd love to do but it's rough to track? Yeah it makes sense and obviously like at some point it just randomly changes when people group and you'd obviously have to have people like really tracking and checking and stuff like that. Yeah, at some point I feel like that would be a cool implementation, especially if they had an API for it, but they don't, sadly. I feel so slow, man. Why am I so slow? But yeah, no, that's awesome. Thank you. More than happy. It was really fun last time. Like, even though I wasn't super competitive in the race, I was... Like, I was just running in a duo of casually blind, blind playthrough, you know? Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, I'm lagging. What's going on here? I gotta kill this guy slower since I don't have anything around. I'm not ready yet. Okay, let's take a look. What do we have? We might have some upgrades now. Oh, lag. Lag. Help. Set me free. It's not my internet, I swear. I'm gonna have to start just like assuming that I'm hitting things. They're trying to nerf me. Okay, I have another point available. What am I supposed to be doing? Uh, I think it's healthy. I need time to prepare. We've got an elite here somewhere. It's not an upgrade, unfortunately. Sturdy pants. We're starting to get a lot more rares now, I've noticed. You really feel the difference, like, once you're, like, level 15 plus on the drops. Like, 15 to 20 starts to be, like, the real gamer drops. Okay, what do we have here? Int. Is that Blizzard? I guess when I'm leveling, I'd probably want Firewall if I can find it. I'm not ready yet. Damage to Firewall, into Blizzard, max life. I could use some survivability, I definitely feel a little bit squishy right now. Let's have a look what we got still. 100. How much armor difference is it? 311 versus 299. I don't know, I think I just take the highest armor for now. Honestly, damage is not really a problem. But yeah, no, I think it would be cool if you guys could organize something where you'd allow people to sign up and then obviously, like, just have people from... have people moderate it a little bit, I guess. Like, you'd obviously have to get a lot of people that look around and stuff, and it sucks for the people that aren't streamers. And the whole rules behind it would have to be that you're streaming your entire POV, basically. But yeah, with that said, you know, obviously downtime, people might, like, log in and, like, do a little bit. Group up, trade for gold. Like, you'd have to keep track of all that stuff. It's really hard, especially in race conditions. You have to keep track of how much gold a person had. So, like, they'd have to always show their inventory and stuff and their gold values and where they were. It's a lot to manage. So, I don't. I, it makes sense that you can't, like, pull it off, I think. Do you think this game will ever get mods or overlays? Um, I'm not sure. I've heard that it's not a good thing to do that. At least from Blizzard or something. I think they're not really very supportive of certain third-party tools, especially ones that could be like... doing bad things that you don't know about. But yeah. Ask the people who made the hardcore mod for WoW. True.
It's hard to defend Blizzard nowadays. I mean, they're trying, but clearly just going in the wrong direction sometimes. Like, I don't know. I think some of these nerfs and buffs are in the right direction. But then there's other shit that's just like, why? Why change it? Why change that? Or at least if you're going to change it, change it in a different way. Like, not the way they... Like, the current implementation of some of the stuff is just a bit silly, in my opinion. But I don't, I don't want to get into a whole debate or discussion about this again. We've had our fair share of complaining here. Enough. I need time just play the game. That. No time for complaints. Just play game. Alright, what item powder is this? 3... Uh, 322. Do I have more? I'm not ready yet. Bro, I'm lagging. Help! I guess I can at least use this artillery, sh this like curse shrine to bait monsters into this guy. Kill him a little bit faster, but I think I'm gonna skip it. hard dude this is not not ethical game stop that I'm not ready yet okay I'm probably going to have to do the funny thing soon I really hope this doesn't happen during like Kareda fight for example that would be really bad Ice shards at 30, that's pretty much the plan. I'm going to try and get to 29, or at least as close to 29 as possible. Um, actually, no, I'm going I'm going to go to 29. But I'm going to hopefully get an upgrade in that time. Like, if I don't get an upgrade by then, I'll probably just keep running Lost Archives as Firewall for now. Until it really, really, truly falls off. Dude, the game is not having it today. I think we're going to do a quick town trip. This is like the one time where I'd actually do the town trip in the middle of the run. Damage reduction from close is good. Charge bolts, ice shards. That's better for like prepping. Um... Rings, I probably need to take a look at. So this has, what are my rings? Crit strike damage, max mana. That's better than that, I think. What's the other one? Crit strike damage, regen, max mana. Oh no, this one. Lightning damage. Damage to close, damage to crowd control. I think that's better than that. What about this? Defensive conjuration, total armor, mana cost reduction. Oh, that's big mana cost reduction. I really like that. I think I'm going to take this. I'll probably keep the defensive enemy just in case. And then here's where I might start actually vendoring things, potentially. Yeah, I think I start vendoring just a couple of things. Actually, what I'll do is I'll salvage the rest of these rares here as well while I'm at it. Um, and I want to see how much I actually get. So I get... That's a decent chunk of everything. The only thing I'm getting not much of is silver ore from that. Okay. <coughs> what run is this, by the way? What do you mean? Uh, World Tier 4 run. If I can. I don't know, time-wise it's going to be rough. I don't want to be here until like 8am, but I'm willing to be here until like 6-7am probably. Which is like 5 hours from now for me. Yeah, I think people are definitely complaining a lot more than they should be, but with that said, I think the devs are also not listening, so it's like, it's kind of a two-way street. Like, it's like, I don't know. Maybe the devs are listening in some ways, but they're just... There's some things that just don't get addressed that need addressing so bad. Like, 
And it's not it's not just like it needs addressing, like it, it's been public for so long. It's like the Nightmare Dungeon bug still exists for groups. Like how is that actually making it through this patch? There's no fucking way. There's like some some things that just don't make sense to me. I mean maybe it'll be fixed by the time season actually launches. They probably have like a second patch coming, but I don't know, man. Have to wait and see us, I guess. <laughs> Only a true masochist can play Sorceress after this patch. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm doing softcore for season one, I think. I mean, I could try hardcore. <laughs> like, I, like since I'm solo, I have nothing. I have nothing to lose, dude, and I think, honestly, the hardcore leaderboard would probably be fucking free. Besides, like, Woody. And maybe, like, it depends if the PoE boys do hardcore again and, like, Ben and his group do hardcore again. But, I have already died once in this run, so... Oh shit, I might go back to Kyovashad. Whoops. Free? That's optimistic. What do you mean? At least free to be like up there or like, you know, in the top 10 for like a good while unless I die. But I have died once in this run. Like as I said, if I get Butcher, it's all Ogre. Like that's it. It's, it's Ogre. So my runs pretty much all depend on Butcher or not. And if I get Butcher, like I don't know what the plan is. I have no idea. Rax is going hardcore. Honestly, hope you get to be there when he dies. What the fuck? That's so rude. I'm not ready yet. That's one thing that this build doesn't take into consideration. It doesn't take any Butcher into consideration. It's like, okay, if you see Butcher, you run or die. Or both. I really hope I see a weapon upgrade soon, though. Because I can't purchase from vendors at the moment. That would be unethical. Very, very unethical. I'm not ready yet. Ah! I had the I had the drop too late, and he dropped it, didn't he? Bastard. I'm not ready yet. All right, maybe I should actually start looking at some wands. Let me see. What's this wand? 355. Okay, I'm going to have to look at focuses if I find any. I'm not ready yet. It's over for you now. That's something I'm going to miss, guys. I'm going to miss that the most out of everything. Out of everything we've done over the past, like, batch of testing, I'm gonna miss it's Ogre for you now. I need time to prepare that. Just man up and fire him? Who are you talking about? The knights did not protect them from the vampires? Oh god, that's gonna be the thing that's stuck in my head the most, though. Like, the knights did not... Uh... The light, sorry. The light. Yeah, wait, you just wrote that... You wrote that where it confused my brain for a second. I didn't need to Inferno, though. That was trolling. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I wrote that the same way that you wrote it. So, <laughs> like, I said it backwards. Wait, I just realized I haven't been using points. Points! Ow. Stop that. I need time to prepare. Hey, we get to cheat.
Chris. I'm not ready yet. I feel like I've definitely farmed enough materials for like a like I've salvaged enough materials definitely for like a few upgrades. But the main weapon, the main upgrade I'm gonna go for is always a weapon. Always a weapon upgrade, chat. Always a weapon upgrade. I need time to prepare that. I guess one thing I can do is I can actually mark weapons as junk and then salvage them. Maybe. That'd probably be a smart thing to do. Fucking teleport sometimes. I'm not ready yet. Because I think weapons have a higher chance of getting silver ore and that's the thing that you need the most. Uh, I don't think it'll be viable for classes that can't just like run and gun like this kind of thing. Like anyone who can leave damage over time that is enough to kill stuff while you're running can probably pull this off, but nothing else I don't think. I'm not ready yet. Wait, why am I grabbing this? I don't even need this. I already have one. So like I said, I need to stay above 58 million. If I go below 58 million, then it's pretty unethical. So I'm probably gonna have to take a moment to like actually factor in like drops and stuff every once in a while. Where's an attack speed critical strike chance? That's actually pretty good, except for the part where it's not. I just realized I savaged that other Ami as well. Whoops. At the moment I'm doing dungeons, yes, Trap Lord. I think I'll probably do Quadrigon for a little bit, though, at some point. I mean, we can take a look, right? We can see how much XP I get. Because if you want to compare this to Quadrigon, I get about 4 bars in 2 minutes. If I don't get 4 bars in 2 minutes from the moment that I've loaded in, like into the dungeon, then it's not the same. Take it easy, Real Zella. Have a good one. Damn, that's early. Wait, oh yeah, it's early, I forget. So here I enter around like, f I don't know, 47.10 or something like that. So if I don't get four bars in that time, in two minutes, then I'm inefficient in comparison to Quadragon. I didn't see him, what I said and I was like one bar in, right? I need time to so by 49.10 I need to have four bars of experience. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh. Clenching. Oh, I'm DCing. Where's my elite? I need time to prepare. So it's 49.10 and I've only got two and a half bars so far. Or two and a bit, I guess. It's not almost 49.10. I mean, it's close, man. It's close, but it's not the same. And the, the problem is the damage falls off here big time. Like, two, two minutes is like a long run. The only exception is that you have a chance of getting shrines that could maybe carry you. But yeah, I'm behind on XP. Like, I would have only just made up enough by this point here. And that's like 210. And that's a long Quadragon run. I mean, the, the, only down, the only upside to this is I get gear while I'm doing it, maybe. I'm 
I'm not ready yet. I got a challenge shrine for the end of it. I wouldn't call that like much. <clears throat> At the end of the day, I'm doing the same thing. I'm still running and gunning. I need time to prepare. Fewer loading screens. Um, well, with reset dungeons, if that feature actually works on reset, then yeah, Quadragon will absolutely be faster. But gear-wise, this is probably better. And the one upside to this is that if you actually do, if the reset dungeon button is working, you can keep an elixir up. But I don't know how often you're going to have elixirs up when you're season start, you know? I need time to prepare that. <coughs> I need time to prepare that. Yeah, I've already done it yesterday. Seven bars in four minutes. Yeah, Kodragon does like four bars per two. Uh, like per two, and that's maximum. And the thing is, I'd be entering Kodragon with all aspects and avalanche, which is like where all of your damage comes from. Like once you get that next enchantment slot, it's massive for this. Absolutely massive. Are you rushing the dungeon to finish it for loot and XP? Uh, yeah. Pretty much just trying to get as much loot as I can. I think, actually, I should stay here until I get an upgrade. That's probably a good idea. I haven't seen a weapon upgrade in a little while. 319's quite low, actually. Let me see. Do I have a staff? I don't have anything. I don't think I haven't been paying attention. What's my highest thing? I have a 319 weapon thing there. 311 focus. I'm, I'm actually curious. Do I do more damage with this or this? Apparently I do more with this. I can slap two of these into each one. For the time being, at least. I lack the need of man. I need time to prepare. Like I said, the only issue is that it's the damage starts to fall off here, but you can still kite monsters through the firewall. Like you can still kite these guys for a while. What are the potion upgrades, by the way? Is it 10, 20, and then 35? Like, this would probably be the only part where it starts to slow down, where I have, like, this one elite that struggles around until I can unlock the next objective part. I cannot carry more. And then, yeah. Obviously more town visits, because I'm gearing up, but that's probably a good thing, actually. Maybe, maybe Lost Archives could just be the play all the way. I don't actually know. Because you do have to factor in gear and, like, actually getting upgrades for later on, like capstone and stuff. Uh, actually, I, st I still need to get a 30. My burden is too great. We did get a staff just then, which is funny as fuck. Well, wow. yeah, that's a big upgrade. Uh, shit, I need to drop some things. I'm just going to drop a couple of ra crappy things that I don't know. Give me the staff rune cane. Put that. Wait, where is Rune Kane? I'm not ready yet. Probably could just live in here, but then you also have the outlier runs of Butcher. Macordragon can also come with deaths too, so. 
I don't know. It's like pick your poison. I'm not ready yet. I think this one definitely has more town trips, which slows down XP, but it still definitely gives a lot more. But you get a lot more loot, and that's kind of what you need. Maybe Lost Archives could just be the play all the way through for a season start. I th the problem is that I'm not keeping track of how much materials and stuff I'm farming and salvaging and stuff. But I do need gold on season start, so maybe that is actually worth doing. Maybe I just stay here. Yeah, I think I might just stay here, try and stay as firewall if I can. Stay in Lost Archives until 100. I don't know if I would do that, that's a bit, a bit cringy probably. Uh, what are my upgrades? Do I have anything? That's an upgrade. Um, I still think I'll wear those actually. And then any pants. Pants are good. I don't really care about the defensive skills I mean, if I'm being honest, we'll just get rid of it. Uh, so let's salvage everything here. See, so I get like 11, 4 of that, iron chunks. Yeah, we're getting a decent amount of materials. It's pretty solid. Because like once the items are high enough level, I think that's where you probably start to like sell them all. Because like this starts to give a bit more gold. Like this is like three three k gold per. So maybe you just start like marking as junk and selling everything at once. Like I said, my issue is that I can't figure out like how many materials I'm actually gonna need or have without going mad. Two war stars, wow. And neither one is an upgrade. 6k, 7k. The cool thing is once you actually upgrade something as well and you salvage it, you actually get a lot of materials back for it too. So as long as you have a good balance between gold and stuff like that, it's really good. I keep forgetting to pick up the things by the way. No worries, Phoenix. Good luck. And thank you. Out of mana once again. I'm not ready yet. I lack the needed mana. Not ready yet. Hmm. Try reset? Oh, true, I didn't think about that. I haven't tried the reset button in a while just because it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm spamming Lost Archives at the moment because I want gear drops and XP at the same time. Because I'm, I'm factoring this in for a season start. So I actually think that maybe Cordragon might be inting. But I have to see, like, how much do I get at this point? Either way, I don't think you can go wrong with Kordragan or this, it's just that Kordragan will give you less drops, which means that you're really praying for, uh, lucky drops, maybe.
But the one upside to this is that if you actually craft an elixir, um, I'm not ready yet. if you craft an elixir, you could have it for 30 minutes worth of farming. Whoops, I was not meant to tell you there. That was a bit of an int. But the cool thing is that you can just kite these guys with you. But you've got to be really careful. Like this, as I said, this hard this chat's probably not the most hardcore viable thing in the world. I really want to unlock the door, so I'm just solo ulting him. Ooh, like legendary chest armor. Wow, protector on it as well. That's funny. Okay, I will make the exception and actually wear that. Uh, maybe not, actually. No, no, we're not going to wear it. We're going to ego. We're going to ego. We're going to ego not wear it, and we're going to treat it like it's another another random legendary I just found. Uh, Quadragon is just slightly worse drops. I don't know. Like, it's, I feel like the elites... Don't always drop stuff, but maybe they do. Maybe they do at a certain point, and I just haven't paid attention to it. I mean, I guess the thing is, um, Keevan did some testing today, and he actually got a lot more drops in his run. So maybe it is better. But I don't know. <coughs> Intelligence. Out of mana. I'm not ready yet. I don't know, I think I maybe stay in Lost Archives. I think the gear is just, like, too good to pass up on. We can always test it. And obviously I'll check if the actual reset button is working too. The only downside is that doing this kind of strat until this this level would not be, vi like, hardcore viable very well. And you do have the random chance for a couple of these extra, like, elite dr dudes to spawn as well. Because it feels like every single elite drops a thing here. Oh, I forgot to pick up the box. Whoops. Too busy talking. Split? Oh, thank you. Altar of Bishy Bosh. Finally it happened. Oh, I haven't done the enchantment on the other one. Um, hmm. What are my options? Flame shield? I don't know. I haven't thought this far ahead. I'm also not used to having combustion as either. I guess I stuck. Ah, not, not the extra flame shield, but that one. And then um, combustion, I suppose, is probably the one I'll go for. I have to think about it. Not firewall? Oh yeah, I could actually get firewall too. Good point. I'm not ready yet. No. 
Angel breath. Good. I'm not ready yet. <clears throat> to be honest though, if I was in hardcore, I'd definitely go flame shirt at this point. Oh yeah, I've already cleared everything. Just about. Like, even non-hardcore, I'd probably still go Flame Shield just so I have a chance of actually surviving and get away from the Butcher. Uh, Alright. This is getting stressful now that I'm changing the strat. Because now it means I have to think more. I don't like thinking. Probably go to like 33, or whenever my next weapon upgrade is. I forgot to check if the dungeon reset button works. You can't hot swap to flame shoot, it has a cooldown. Okay, um, let me actually check. Well, I mean, that, that's still coming up, but... I don't know. I ran into the Butcher at like level 14 in this run or something. Maybe just before or later. 15, I think it was. I'm not ready yet. And I've hit him at level 1 before. Literally first dungeon. I don't know what the hell else I do with points besides, like, utility shit, maybe. Yeah, I had to uh, farm aspects at the beginning. I'm taking into account farming aspects in this run. So I think I will probably start doing all the other dungeons. Like, let me let me look at my list real quick. I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have like 9 dungeons to do. I don't know which ones actually I need though. There's like one that I don't need. Which is probably Edge Masters. Like realistically, I probably don't need Edge Masters. Let me see which dungeon that is. I'm not ready yet. That's old stones. Sorry, I'm trying to look at like my notes while I'm playing. <laughs> it's hard. Hard to do both. How long am I doing Lost Archives? Pretty much until I get a weapon upgrade around 32 or 33. Ideally I'd like to have like a 400 staff if I can get one. And they start to drop around that level. Those guys are going to start being a problem. I still haven't got a potion upgrade yet by the way. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. 
That was satisfying. Oh, why am I picking up the box? Sorry, everyone. I think for this run, I just leave the game. Because I need to go back to town and salvage and shit anyway. When would I respect the Shards build? Um, I'm probably going to do that before I start farming the last aspects. Um, I think I take the boots. I'll take it. I'm actually gonna just savage these two pieces, I think. Whoops, actually no. They're unethical for the run, so I don't care. Uh, let's go back to thingy. Uh, I'll do my potion upgrade while I'm here. I'm 30, so might as well. So we'll act like I have the mats, because I feel like I saw enough of everything, but yeah. Not while I'm in town. Like I said, as much as those two aspects are aspects that I need, I, I feel like it's better for me to do this run, like, treating it like an actual real start. Oops, I failed that. Um, I can't really king art because it's going to be changing. You'd have to go back through the VOD, bud. It's always changing. Speaking of which, I have a point left over. Um, what do I even want? What do I even need? Pick up. Probably align the elements is good. Get a little bit of survivability. I need time to prepare that. Either that or go for enhanced teleport or something for cooldown if I actually teleport onto stuff. Maybe I could get shimmering as well. I think at this point, like, my damage is fine still. I just need my next upgrade on my stuff, because right now I only- Oh my god, ow. Sork moment. Well, there's a staff, but it's 31. What's the item power? 380? Eh. It's okay. It's nothing spectacular, but it's okay for now. Whippy whippy. I'm not ready yet. I've already done the last boss once for the dungeon aspect, but that's it. I don't know when the best time to do him is. Like, again, this is all just me winging it. Oh, I failed. Maybe I want the fire move speed one, actually. I'm not ready yet. I feel like right now it would be nice to be getting around a bit faster. I'll put that into fire move speed. Also, how much is it costing me to respect things? 258 gold. Ugh, I gotta be careful with that. I don't even know how much it costs to imprint oh, at low level. What is the average cost of imprinting around this level? Does anyone know? Does anyone have like a level 30 character that they can test imprinting items on from the codex? 
That's something I probably should have factored in. I need to like know how, roughly how much gold I need. Probably depends on the item as well. Like maybe if you have like item power drops around that level two. Around two to three K at level 20. Okay, that's not so bad. It's probably like 10K plus then. I need time to prepare that. Six, six crystals. 10 crystals. One dollar. Sorry, I have a really bad cough at the moment, so I'm occasionally like muting and unmuting. I don't know if you guys are ever hearing it, but I hope you're not. Like at the end of the day, if we're a little bit higher than the level required for the aspect dungeon, like I'm not going to be too pissed. I just want a really, really good star. Like I want a good stuff that I don't have to shop. So I think going for like 400 item power on a stuff is probably the best place. Doing curator without something above that is going to be hard. I think it's going to be hard even doing it with a 400 item power stuff, and I'm going to have to be doing it without elixir too. So I'm going to have to literally be a gamer. And then after that, I don't know what I do. I don't know if I continue with Lost Archives or if I push into Quadragon or what I do. Because maybe the drops that I get off of him might be enough. Those drops I will use. If those legendaries are good, I will use. Because I, I don't want to take random legendaries that I get in this run. Even if they're best for a season start, you know. I'd rather be like, oh, I got a trash legendary vendor. Hey, Leash. Uh, not too bad. How you doing? Yeah, I still can't reset dungeons. I don't think you can. I don't think you can tell the difference between Curse Shrine or not. I think around the time I get to like three, uh, level 33 though, if I haven't found anything interesting, I'm probably just going to push. Like I'm just going to push with my 38, uh, my staff that I have right now in hopes that I can get something good from the other dungeons, because at the end of the day I'm going to be clearing level 35 dungeons, so... I just don't know if like one full run through of extra dungeons, because let me see, I have to actually count how many dungeons I need to do. I need time. I've got Dark Ravine, Abandoned Mineworks, Holes of the Damned. Those are must-haves. Oops. Oh, and then I have to clear Strongholds too, crap, I should really be moving like now. I think I have to move chat, like after this run. I actually think it's better to play it like this in the future. Ooh, stuff. 396? Okay, that's my upgrade. I think from here... It's probably time to start progressing, because I just remembered Strongholds are going to give me the XP, so... From here I've got to go to Dark Ravine. Which means it's off to Ked Bardu. Super sleepy? Hmm. Any hope for Sork in Endgame in your opinion? Probably not. Like, 
little bits and pieces. You might be able to play some other builds and like enjoy like low low level content stuff, but I say low level is in like maybe tier fifties or something like that is probably what you get up to and enjoy. Have a look. Anything interesting? Max mana is good on this. Ranks are fireball. I like those. Right, I think I salvage everything else though. So we'll go for one last salvage and then from here I'm pretty sure I'm starting to upgrade things again. Uh, I could also put these in here for now as well. Not yeah. while I'm in uh, actually I will upgrade the staff I think. Let me ha let me look at how much it costs. Like I feel like I've had enough iron chunks for that. I'll do one upgrade. I'll make it I'll make it ethical. Okay we'll make it ethical. <laughs> okay Duck Ravine, Duck Ravine, uh, Duck Ravine is here. I cannot do that here. So I'm currently doing this for the aspect of might, which is one of the aspects I need for uh, the other fights. Bruh. This one has a boss, which is going to be annoying for my build right now. Oh, I was supposed to respec actually. Uh, I can still do that, I guess. Can I? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that while I'm riding, but I'm just going to like ride slow, I guess. Actually, no, I'm going to quickly grab this. Let's ride slow while I respec. So 9k gold to respec, that's not bad. We're still above 58 mil, that's all that matters. So right now... Galavine. 1-1. One, one. I need more time. Right, this is the place that sucks. I'm going to die because I don't have any defensives. I need time to prepare that. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> too much, too much uh, inventory management and stuff. Yeah, console would definitely struggle with going this fast. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I just forgot I got piercing cold and I'm not using it right now. I should quickly go and print that. I'm gonna do that in a second. What would I have unlocked right now? I'd have protector and piercing cold. I have nothing else. <clears throat> Not while I'm in town. Ah, yes. Uh, let's put it on a ring, I guess. This one is probably my good ring. Um, filter by class only. I think piercing cold's here. 1100. Yeah, that's fine. As long as I'm above the gold value, I do not care. Uh, I think I usually put protector on my helmet, so... Let's see. Protector, protector. Yeah, as long as I'm above 59 mil, I do not care. Uh, 58 mil, sorry, 58. It's gonna be rough boss fights, chat. I'm telling you now. It's gonna be rough. But I still think it's probably better than Firewall. I need time to prepare that. 
Okay, this is where the room is. I assume that's the animus room. I'm not ready yet. Ow. I lack the needed mana. The one cool thing about this is that you actually get eye shards enchantment, which is nice. I uh, know, yeah, eye shards enchantment. It's not common to have that for this this part of the run. Imagine not having a search bar for aspects. Yeah, it's a bit silly, but it is what it is. Hip skull. I'm not ready yet. What's my plan for ladder one? Uh, I'm probably gonna play solo sorceress. I don't want to grab that. I need time. I just want to get through this dungeon as quickly as possible. That's the goal right now. Because I'm at the point where I might get go from like 31 to 39. My backup plan would basically be to go back. I'm not ready yet. Hate this dungeon? Yeah, it's definitely a frustrating one. I'm remembering it now. Why deep freeze? Uh, it's helpful in some situations. Like there, I got a free telly. And my Frost Nova cooldown's all back as well. And it's an absolute backup savior, like saving plan. It also helps with another cooldown as well if I need mana. I need time to prepare that. Actually, do I really? Yeah, it's probably better to do it like this, I guess. I wonder if I should do little mini respects for the fight, for the boss fights. Probably a good idea to work with, to work towards stagger. Like maybe I could at least take like one point out of one of these. What do I even have that I can remove? I'm not ready yet. Wait, I'm 32. Yeah, I can just put a point into Blizzard now.
Let's take that blizzard point back and put it into like this or something. Actually, it's probably better to put it into elites, but okay. Alright, uh, next step is to go to catch us down abandoned mine works. So we have to go back to town now. So Dark Ravine would have just unlocked me might. I think I sell I cannot do that here. My eyes everything right now. Watch so much. Actually, no, I'm going to salvage one more time. It's fine. I cannot do that here. I don't need to put my on right now. Not until I'm doing hard farming. I cannot do that here. Just realized I can go from gear core. Also, I might have accidentally coughed into the microphone. Sorry if I did that chat. Oh, I just remembered. My point is actually meant to go into teleport. Whoops. Wait, what? What the fuck? No, it's not. Wait, what the fuck is going on? Okay, no, it's not. It's just I don't have teleport equipped. That's all. Um, this way. I cannot do that here. Yeah, I don't have the stagger aspect yet, so maybe it's not even that great to go for stagger. We're not hearing your coughing. It's not the filter. It's like me manually muting, so that's good. Trust me, if you hear, like if you hear me cough, you will know because I just cough. I don't like I like I partially turn away from the mic, but it's still loud. I need time to do that. Nightmare dungeons are less, but like 10 times the loot because of randomness. Yeah. So you think Kodragan is better still? Or just regular dungeons, depending on if you can kill them fast. I guess Kodragan is probably better to do it at some point with eye shards. I feel like eye shards is like a very specific build, you know? You probably do it until it feels weak. And then maybe if you're lucky you have enough gold to shop for something. The issue that I'm tr trying to have right now is that I'm only at 133k gold and I still have aspects to imprint, I still have gears to upgrade if I want to. I, need more time. I wouldn't be able to reroll. I think maybe I do abandon mineworks first and then I take the... take the waypoint. We'll do it this way. I need time to do that. Start selling weapons, maybe? Yeah, I've been selling some stuff. Oh, wow, I didn't... I failed that. Unbelievable. So Abandoned Mineworks gets me Retribution, which is something I need for later. I'm not ready yet. Can you save a prisoner while deep freeze at the moment, or is that like buggy? I'm not ready yet. Crush beast bones. Restart run. Failed teleport. True. Oh, 
thought there would be something there. Oh, I just remembered I don't have the right enchantments on. I'm not ready yet. Bless you. I need time to prepare that. You were the answer to my prayers. Oh, there was a th drop back there. Oh well. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Bro, this is gonna take so much longer than I thought. <laughs> Maybe not like so much longer, but it's gonna take a little bit longer. Like we might actually be here until like 8am. I really don't want to be here until 8am. If it does get too long and I can't clear the Elias fight and stuff, I need time then I'll probably just go next. Ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Yet. Savage White Adams is on the season journey. I mean, you'll do that at the beginning of the game, probably. It's kind of funny, though. Like, super random. So that's Retribution unlocked, uh, which means I leave the dungeon, get the waypoint. I don't think you need to do the campaign, no. Unless you've already done- if you haven't done the campaign I in the game already, you will need to. But yeah. Wait, nice shards. Hail to you, traveler. A fine addition to my inventory. Actually, I kind of value the fireball more. I Maybe I can have those as a swap pair temporarily right now. Okay, now we're off to Holes of the Dead. Or Holes of the Damned. Sorry, wrong game. Not while I'm in town. I need more time.
Does Sork feel broken after the patch? Broken in which way? Like, bad? Or strong? Not strong at all. This dungeon sucks with the doubling back. Oh no. I don't know this dungeon well. You know something I should have considered, chat? I should have probably ate food. I need time. I don't think I had food. Maybe I had a little bit. No, I did have food. Never mind, I did, I did. What the fuck? Ah yes, my favorite doors that you have to actually interact with and wait for for 10 years. Yo, Dragon Balls, how you doing? You saved me life, stranger! In it. I see what you mean now about the doubling back there. I love this dungeon. I need time to prepare. No need for respondent chests. Uh, at the moment, I'm just prioritizing objectives. Like I'm trying to get all the dungeons done. There's going to be a big gap between the levels in this split. Mostly due to the fact that I'm doing all my aspect dungeons all in one run through. I probably would click every single one if I was paying attention, but sometimes the streamer gets a little bit lazy and has too many things to focus on. I'm not ready yet. I don't know when the boss is on this fight. Learning experience, I guess. I'm not I think he's coming, right? He or she? I'm not sure. I don't even know what we're reversing. Dude. Hey, funny. Fancy seeing you here, bud. We meet again. 
Maybe it would be best for me to actually do control first and put that on. Because to be honest, I feel like control is like probably the only really, really important thing. I definitely think I'm trolling myself by not doing control first. I just realized I don't have prodigies, so I'm trying to do prodigies. Yeah, probably prodigies and the other one first, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe we get to 32 and do those in future. Control got fixed on staggered bosses. It still applies, like, a little bit, though, doesn't it? I heard it was just like a like a one third nerf or whatever. It's only like twenty five percent. Yeah, it's still something. It's the same as having retribution. Dungeon completion. Hello. Hello. Thank you. All right. Uh, now I need to go do Comdor Temple. Wait, no I don't. I don't need to do Commodore Temple, what am I talking about? Am I dying? I'm dying, what are you doing here? Uh, if that's the case, if I'm not doing Commodore Temple, then I probably need to do... Actually, yeah, I think I'm just gonna skip this and go to the Kedgestan one. Uh, where's Kedgestan? Hold on, let me look. Wait, which one is the Kedgestan one? Sunken Library. Wait, what the fuck? Sunken library is like all the way over here, right? Down here. Okay, we'll go do that. We'll get control, and then we'll get prodigies. I'll do things in a bit of a backwards reverse order. I should have probably gotten prodigies first and stuff like that at this level. Blizzard? Actually, that's really good. That means I don't have to unspec anymore. Or spec into it. Okay, uh, let's talk to a vendor real quick while we're here. Keep forgetting to actually put my gear swaps on. Alright, so we're on 228k, that's pretty good. Gold-wise, we are looking good. Do I actually need to go again? The like library's like here, right? Yep. a channeling shrine? No. I need more time. I need time to do that. This I definitely would do things in a different order from what I'm doing in this run so far, but yeah. So far I don't feel like this is bad what we're doing right now. I need time to do that. But it definitely does seem like Lost Archives to like 31, 32 is probably the play. And then just filter out all of the dungeons that you need to actually do Curator Fight. Quickly kill the Goblin, I guess. I just realized I don't have my enchantments on. Shit. He's piecing out of here, isn't he? Come back. Wait, what? Um. I need time to do that. Storm swell. Hello. I would usually maybe keep that, but yeah. Stronghold's still safe to level to 50. No, uh, in a group, probably, if you're efficient and you pull together, yeah. 
In solo, it's hard to say at the moment because you need, like, for season one start, you're going to have to factor in um, getting gold and materials. So I think dungeons, some dungeons might be better, unless you're doing a, a stronghold that drops a lot of items and you can clear it fast. I'm not ready yet. Oops, I should have teleported first before deep freezing. That was that was troll. I need time to prepare that. I'm not ready yet. But yeah, definitely would do it in a different order if I were to do this. I would probably unlock control and uh, prodigies first. Those two feel like the most important because then that way at least you can do all the boss dungeons and be a bit faster. The Witchwater boss is definitely going to suck though. Experiment number seven. Raised another undead today. Excellent specimen. Technique improving. Full mobility. Nice. 420 item power stuff. Let's go. To move a scroll. Scroll Damn. Big damage, damage to crowd control. Oh, never mind. I thought it was damage Must to crowd control. Distant and overpowered. Low. It's trash. It's trash. It's trash. Yes. Library too valuable to let rot. Come here, bud. But too expensive to hire mercenaries. Studies go well. Who knows what gems I might discover here? We want to group up as many monsters on the opposite side of us, so then that way we stand right next to the elite and then our Aishar's enchantment procs a bunch of things. Ooh, maybe I can actually get this for the boss fight. Please. Unethical run. I'm not ready yet. Wait, it's a slay all, huh? Oh god, this dungeon sucks. Oh wait, this is a no-boss dungeon though, so I don't mind it. I need time to prepare. So yeah, the eye shards that like usually fly off of our body, we want to use those against them. You love this dungeon? Do you actually? It's gotta be sarcasm when Bender's using emotes. <laughs> Surely. You farmed here when everyone was stuck in Champion's Demise. It's probably good in higher tiers, I guess. Probably has like way more elite density and stuff. Am I running this? I'm uh, farming aspects. Like, mimicking as if I was to farm aspects.
out of mana once again. How are there just more coming? I'm not ready yet. Might as well just wait for Frost over at this point. Alright, Sunken Library is done, which means I now need to go to Witchwater. In order to get to Witchwater, I think I have to go from here. I'm just putting a quick X next to all of the dungeons I've done, so I don't get lost. I should probably do a quick salvage and stuff. It's a pretty good item, I want to keep that. suppose I can upgrade that. Actually, there's no point keeping these, I'm going to just put aspects on them soon anyway. Okay, I think everything else can go. Father, keep you. Not while I'm in town. Yep, just finished sunken. We got 361k gold, so reality is I could probably shop something. Oh, I could have clicked that other ore there. I have time to do that. Oh, I saw a gallop bite berry. I cannot do that here. Alright, I guess um, I grab this waypoint next, and then later on I can do Oblivion. Oblivion is for shared misery, which is just nice for clearing capstone and stuff. I need time. Oh, Blightshade. Can someone list out the materials needed to actually craft an undead slaying elixir? Because if I find enough, I'm going to craft one. I know it's Blightshade. I know it's, a uh, Like... Something else as well. Galavine. Angel Breath, which I've found one or two of at least. One Angel... Angel Bloom? Angel Breath, you mean? Probably got this waypoint while I'm down here as well for Renown. I cannot do this is kind of just on the way. Lifespan. Have I been finding lifespan? I don't think I have. Where do you get lifespan from? Is that like a, in a certain area? I need time to do that. Because like I said, the backup plan is to, uh... The backup plan for that would be to just, like, make a new character and, uh... Spam the, like, starter quest over and over. I need time to prepare that. Almost always present in world chests. I see. I just haven't been keeping track of how much I've found of that. I know I've definitely found like light shade and everything else, but yeah. Let's get a witch water. I need time to do that. I think when I get into witch water, I'm gonna go back to town. Actually, nah. I, I think I'll just probably do the two in one go. I think I'll do prodigies and um, the other aspect. 
prodigies and control in one go because I feel like those two are like the big difference makers for the other places like the strongholds and stuff if I ever have to clear a stronghold boss like it'll come in clutch do I start Kordragan after uh, 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 aspects I think I probably will be back to court I'll do Kordragan yeah I'll see how it feels I mean at the end of the day it's gonna give loot and I'm I'm okay with it giving me loot <laughs> you know I've already got a staff that I can end the game on I'm happy And if Streamer has a staff he can end the game on, we're in business. Well, not end the game, but you know what I mean, end World Tier 3 at least. I haven't done World Tier 4, so it's all experimental for me. All I know is, from what people have told me, the boss there fucks. I'm not ready yet. In this place, I'm actually going to have to be a bit cautious. I just remembered shit stuns here, so I have to make sure that I keep my unstoppables up most of the time. Say that as I use one. Bless you. Bless you, Bless you mate. Oh, the one key. No, not again. But yeah, this place has those eyeballs that stun those things. I've seen them. I've seen them. Uh, let's stop editing that. Actually, I should probably stop sorting and just like look at gear as I pick it up, but maybe. That's probably the right call. Nice armor. Max of charge is actually quite nice. I kind of want this. I want to pull as much stuff towards this eyeball as I can. Ow. Oops, that's, there's nothing over here. Oh, uh, this is scary now. If I get stunned, I'm probably dead. Just soon. Just so just don't get hit, lol. Oh, I have a point available. I need time to do that. No! Maybe there's an eyeball in here? There is. Oh, he's resetting. Oh. He's really hard at under 55? Okay, I see. I see. I mean, then again, we're talking about nerfed Sork here. Lol. So I didn't get the answer? You're in the kitchen? Wait, hold on, let me, let me see what you said. Okay, we need to swap the aspects. Let's we'll swap these. Luckily this run we have uh, our good friend Blizzard on pants. Why'd I run into that? I think it's the easiest class to speedrun. I wouldn't say the easiest. But definitely one that I like running. Good procs there. Nice damage. I mean, I don't have aspects. It would be a little bit more if I had aspects. Yeah. 
I need time to do that. I lack the needed mana. Right, before I forget, let's swap these back. Alright, let's switch water done. Okay, let's go to a town real quick. Okay, so I've got like two more dungeons to go. And then we can start some blasting. Uh, occultist. Work done. Let's get started. I think control can go on this for now, as well as the Emmy. Not while I'm in town. Still use these. Okay, uh, where next? I think I might do Ruins of Yarakisu. Is there, so I got a Nevesk. Actually, I should have. Uh, I should have put Retribution on Ami, maybe. But then again, it's risky. Not while I'm in town. Also, keep forgetting to put ice shards on. I need more time. So I'm trying to think. I've unlocked Retribution. I actually have unlocked Disobedience as well, but I just haven't put it on yet. I guess I'm still looking for gear in hopes that maybe I'll find something better. Is Disobedience I usually put on my- oh, actually these pants are good. These pants are really good. Wait, what? Oh, whoa, they're really good. I need time to do that. Nice starting gold. Thank you. I, I'm taking gold into into factor. Like I started at a 58 million, maybe like 800 extra or something like that. But as long as I don't go below that value, I'm fine with it. The only thing I can't factor in too well is mats, but I've been mostly salvaging. I've been doing a hybrid between salvaging and vendoring, but mostly salvaging early. Bro, I hate these statues. All right, teleport. I'm going the wrong way. Why is he so angry, dude? Like, literally just chill out. <laughs> we'll start the season with a small loan of fucking 58 million. If I only did.
need more time. Oops. Bruh, come on. I don't know where I clicked then. Uh, let's switch the aspects back, or the things back. Uh, yeah, you gotta be level 40 for World Tier 3. You have to be 40, then clear the capstone dungeon, then enter World Tier 3. You can't be- you can't clear the capstone dungeon, then level to 40. But not that it's even worth doing that anyway. I'm doing that so backwards. So yeah, so far I've unlocked Disobedience and Might, I just haven't put them on pieces yet. Um, this is for Elementalist right now that I'm doing. And then I think Oblivion is for Shared Misery, which is on the boots, and that's it. Every Everything else I'm good for. That's all my aspects done. So two more, like a Stronghold and a Dungeon, and then I'm good. Fuck off, bro. Bro. No. Why? Literally for why? What's your problem? I'm fucking dead here, I think. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Give it to me good. Yep. Just give it to me raw, why don't you? Fuck it. <sighs> Fuck, I couldn't teleport there. Whoops. I tried to, but I couldn't. Oh well. I deserve that. Will I play hardcore or softcore? I think after that I'm probably playing softcore, just saying. <laughs> I need time to prepare that. Wait, what the fuck? Why is he angry? Why do you turn so angry all of a sudden? Wait, this is an event. I just realized I'm going to the wrong place. I guess Scroll of Escape would be a thing, actually. I need time. So if you did encounter Butcher and you had Scroll of Escape, like, it'd be fine. Oh, come on, man. Why did that- why did that portion have to lag? I was like, literally, that's- That's what should've happened. It, I should've gone through that. <laughs> Oh well. Carrying on. What am I supposed to destroy? Ca skeletal constructs, okay. Nothing super scary here. A couple of- actually spiders are here. I should hold on to my uh, unstoppable, maybe? Actually no, I can always frost over to just keep myself alive if I have to. Should be fine. And I've got deep freezes and absolute backup. I need to not be scared to use my cooldowns for mobility. Ooh, big friend up here. Yeah, no, go back into them. Oh, I guess you can go into the constructs. I'm fine with that too. I need more time. Come on, bud. <laughs> 
Nice. Legendary wand. I'm not, not that I'm going to use it, but... I need more time. Did they drop that early? They can. Oh, the earliest you can use one is at level 20? Oh, okay. Did they change that? I could have sworn that it was not like that. Uh, I forgot to tell you again before I did this, but it's fine. Does this dungeon have a boss? I don't know. It does have a boss. Well, we do all this. We do a slay all into skeletal constructs into a boss. That's cringe. Well, yeah, that happened in my run right now so far. I would have been butchered. Oh, wait, I'm running into a wall. I thought there was a pathway for some reason. Let's take a look at some of this gear. I'm actually just going to ditch the eye shards gear. I haven't been using it or paying attention to it. I think it's just too much for me to work oh around. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Probably get rid of that. Wow, domination. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Holy. Oil are coming through. Pug. What's on the wand? Accelerating. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Exactly. Upside down man goes fast pop. <laughs> Thank you so much for the seven months as well. I definitely think I would put retribution on my amulet early here while I'm doing all this stronghold farming stuff. Assuming I've got a good weapon. Because it definitely would just make this little bit a little tiny bit faster and then I can always swap control back onto the amulet afterwards. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. I need time to prepare that. Okay. Now we need to go do Oblivion. I uh, think that one's probably closer. I honestly think for Kordragan it's probably better to have that, but I think just for the sake of it, I'm going to drop those two fireball here now. Um, let's just vendor all this, and I'll salvage the other I thing. Quite hard, eh? I'm not sure if Oculus will be viable. Probably as like a swap weapon. I could see that being realistic. I need more time. Nice channeling shrine, that's really good. It means our horse gets extra little speedy boosts. Goblin, I guess. Oh shit, I don't have teleport. Or aspects. Goblins don't get staggered. I'm not ready yet. Yeah. 
Another inner calm. Yeah, I'm getting some good aspects this run. I need time to do that. Oh, I remember the stronghold. This one's fun. Let's swap the enchantments back. Oh. I feel the same way, dude. Why Blizzard? It helps with the stagger for bosses. And that's why I also put Frostbolt enchantment on temporarily because it applies bonus chill. Group up. Uh, how does this work again? I see. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. I need more time. No. I'm not ready Bastard. yet. Do you know who you are trying to save? Do you know who you are trying to save? Do you know who you are trying to shave? I'm not ready yet. They betrayed the protector. They deserve them. Wow, that's a stuff. I'm not ready yet. Your flesh will char and crack. Asses for the As the nerf control and aspect feel, it's noticeable. That's all I will say about it, it's noticeable. Pretty sure this is a boss, right? Yeah, it is. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Are you pumping tomorrow at season start? Uh, I think I will be pumping tomorrow at season start, yes. I'm not sure how hard I'll be pumping, but I will be pumping. Thank you so much for the four months, Bindles. <clears throat> Pump it up. Am I lagged out? What's going on here? Or do I have to wait for his voice lines, I guess? <laughs> okay. That was a bit scuffed, but sure. Okay, we can do Oblivion now. Last dungeon, and then I should be good. I have every aspect unlocked at this point. Then it's off to Cordragon, probably. Aspect change. Rare, no, not that. This is a no boss, right? Yeah, it's a no boss, but it's an annoying dungeon. So 
So I could leave a couple of stragglers here and there in this one, but gotta kill the vast majority. Actually, I don't know if it is okay to do that. Oh yeah, they start to come here, cool. Then you've got the last dude that we have to deal with. I'm not ready yet. Oops, I missed. I think if I was playing hardcore, I'd definitely keep Deep Freeze up a lot more. I'm curious if you can leave a dungeon in the middle of Deep Freeze too, because it's like, what, four seconds? Six seconds? Four seconds. Maybe you could, like, start leaving dungeon and then Deep Freeze and then Flame Shield. Click this. No, I can't click this while I'm in this. You. you can scroll of escape and deep freeze. I'm not too fast about scroll of escape. I need more time. Cause I'm talking about like oh actually. Yeah, that still wouldn't solve the issue of getting to uh getting to fucking what's it called? That wouldn't solve the issue of getting past the um, level f like 15 or 20 requirement that you need. Hoping I could hide behind the cage and not take hits. <laughs> yeah, I realized after I said it, I was like, yeah, you don't have deep freeze at level 15, so it wouldn't really work that way. Wouldn't have made it without you. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, that was the wrong way to dash, dude. I almost died. Whew. I mean, obviously, it's not hardcore, but. Yeah, moments like that in hardcore definitely make me clench. Just because that was that was a simple little miss click. I wasn't paying attention to the fact that he was fire enchanting. If you start teleporting, you use deep freeze. What about the other way around? What if you start deep freeze and then press the leave dungeon button? And then flame shield afterwards. I need time to do that. Planning on doing any season one mimic runs? Um, this is one, Mr. Death. I have five skill points available still, as you can see. And I've got like a starting, if you check the top right of the screen, you'll see that I've got like a starting value. Like a starting gold value, so as long as I'm above 58 million, then I'm ethically running, kind of. The only exception is salvaging gear, but I've done a majority of salvaging this run so far. I've probably vended like twice out of like 10 town trips. I need time to do that.
Might as well just rush some of them. Well, the thing is, my route specifically has two strongholds in it. I actually don't know what Renown I'm at. Maybe in a different area I've actually unlocked enough Renown. I could check, I guess. But I wouldn't have a clue until I get there. Oh, that's an event, isn't it? That's the idol. Out of mana. Okay, uh, every aspect is unlocked, which means I gotta go do Cordragon now. But I gotta do a quick town trip and stuff. Wait, am I 35 by the way? Did I not split? Or am I 34? I'm 35. Okay, that's an upgrade. That's not an upgrade, really. That's an upgrade. Mm, that one's quite nice. What do I have on right now? Eye shards. I actually kind of like the crit on this. Attack speed's not really benefiting me, though, so I'm going to drop it. This one's technically an upgrade-ish, kind of. I don't know, I kind of like the max... Yeah, no, I'm going to keep the other ones I've got right now. The DR feels important right now. Damage just unchilled. Uh, damage crowd control. Close. What else we have? Von damage, chilled, fire damage. Max mana life. Dude, these are fucking good rings. I'm keeping all of them. Father bless. What do you need? Oh, hold on, wait. Yeah, savage all items. Nice, we are getting Forgotten Souls from these. Cool. Okay, um... Let's go this way. Oh, the one thing I forgot to do is upgrade my weapon. Okay, let's uh, take this, this, control, and this. I'll keep control here for now. Um, show my class only. Control. I already have that there. Okay, cool. Uh, we want elementalists. Where's elementalists? I think it's down here. This one I run my on. That's a good omen. This one I would run protector on. And this one I run disobedience on. Alright, aspects are looking good. Now it's off to Kordragon. Not while I'm in town. Let's take a quick look and see if I actually unlocked any renown anywhere. How was I was really close? Like if I were to do one more dungeon I'd get a free skill point basically. So yeah, we'll grab the menace that waypoint on the way. I could technically do an event or something, maybe for some obols. At the end of the day, I do. I am allowed to use obols in this run. I haven't stated it, but I am allowed to because I have. Uh, I started with zero, so and it's not speedrun conditions. There's no other players in the city. Um, so I'm uh, I'm from Australia, playing on Oceanic with crossplay turned off, and it's also four in the morning. So yeah. Alright, quarter gun time. I've got really good gear. Oh, I forgot to upgrade the staff. That's fine. It's not a big deal. It's probably better to save materials in case anyway, because honestly the staff is really good for quarter gun farming. I'm set. I don't need to worry. Do I have aspects and stuff? Yes, everything's good. Skill build's good. It's all good. No survivors. This place is overrun. been a little while since I've been here. Whew. But I've ethically unlocked all aspects. Ooh. 
gross of protecting the larger ones. I'm not ready yet. Okay, we missed one elite, I guess. Unlucky. Holy fuck, we're bopping right now. No, I didn't get him. Oh, I did. I need more time. I had to get aspects and also. So between my 30 to 35, I did all the aspect farming. <clears throat> this is like me trying my best to mimic a season one start. Uh, yeah, I think it's two in the morning for me. I could be wrong. Does it feel noticeably slower? Absolutely, when you have to farm aspects. I'm way slower. In terms of damage and stuff, damage seems fine right now. I obviously, like, bosses are the only limiting thing. I think bosses I got a big nerf on that I notice. Like, I really noticed the boss damage sucking a lot harder. I only killed that guy there because he was cold enchanted and he was causing problems for me, and I don't like people who cause problems for me. I don't know if anyone can relate, but... And this isn't even the most like optimized version of the route. I definitely like would do it differently on season start. But so far gear has also been pretty good, so I can't complain. Like I, I'm also not using gear that has dropped. No no no. Okay. I haven't I've been haven't been using gear that has dropped. Like for example, I dropped a perfect control aspect already. I could have just slapped that straight onto an amulet and kept that for the rest of the game. Probably. Maybe not for the rest of the game, but you get what I mean. Oh I failed. Fuck. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna even mount up while I wait. Sometimes you just fail that telly and you just have to be sad about it. So you guys were saying that it's uh, what? Galavine, Lifespain, one Angel Breath, uh, Blight Shade, five Blight Shade. I've definitely got five Blight Shade so far. I've definitely got m enough for Galavine. The only thing I haven't got is Lifespain. I don't know if I got that from some of the uh, events. Aspects aside, the XP nerf in general. Um, yeah, you feel it. Like, Cordragon was giving me like maybe five bars per, per run. Now it's giving me like four, four to four and a half, depending on my level. 
Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Also, no so. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Are those guys stuck back there? What are they doing? Nice stepper stuck? What's going on? Come on, guys. Oh, he got out. Busted. And that guy's walled off as well. What the fuck's going on? This is an unlucky one. I need more time. The light did not protect these knights. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. Oh. oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Exodus KC, thank you so much for the prime sub. Appreciate you guys. I need time to do that. I don't know where that ghoul went. He's still here. Cool. Yeah, the only thing is you definitely have to be a lot more cautious with like your health and stuff when you're doing it this way. Whoa. See like that there, like that guy went to go for the big stabby stab and I had to like react. I had to use my gamer instincts and I don't like using my gamer instincts. Not all the time. Sometimes a man just likes to chill, you know. I need more time. You thought Temple of Rot would give better XP? The thing is, Sorceress can route this in a certain way where Temple of Rot you can't do. You can't do Temple of Rot the same way. Like, Sork has like so many quirky teleports and stuff that you can do, which is really nice. Wow, those are some boots. Bad pants. Decent chest. Is D4 speedrunning fun enough? Define fun. <laughs> you can probably still optimize skills. Oh yeah, true. I'm actually still holding on to a skill point right now, probably. Yep. I often forget. There's so many little small optimizations, but at the end of the day, execution over math. Math is for nerds. I mean, I'm sometimes a nerd, but I'm too lazy for math right now. I'm just gaming. These from the vampires. Fun equals D2. I like both, to be honest. I do think that they are trying to remove the fun from this game gradually over time. But we'll see. Hopefully they don't continue to do that and they actually make it fun and enjoyable for everyone. Nah, you can't. It's not possible to get that. There's no, no situation in life where it's going to be fun for every person. There's always going to be one Andy out there who's like, always ruining my video game. Rrr. Can't believe they buffed everything. Can't believe they nerfed everything. Can't believe they, you know, did this, this, and this. I'm not ready yet. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Mr. Death, thanks for gifting your sub to uh. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not uh. ready. <laughs> yeah, that name. <laughs> I was a little scared for a second there, sorry guys. Bomber, that's the one. No, boots. Okay, so I actually need to keep these at some point, so I need to move that eventually. Oh, EP bomber. I see. It doesn't feel like a take your medicine nerf patched it two days before season one. Was well advised. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, if they released this earlier and actually had time to go back on it, maybe it'd be fine. 
maybe. But um, it's going to be hard for them to address that. Not to mention the bugs that they didn't address, like the Nightmare Dungeon spamming bug and all the other bugs and things and fun stuff. A weathered staff. Very cool. The cool thing about doing this until 39 now is that we actually get pog staffs for the run. Sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. I heard a drop up there, but I ain't going back for it. Uh, I'm stuck. I'm step bro stuck. Ooh, an amulet. So nice that change that they made to a uh, deep freeze where you can actually cast um, the thing in the middle of it all. Like you get uh, not not casting it, but you get ice shard casts while you're channeling deep freeze. That's such a nice quality of life change. But it kind of makes deep freeze like way too strong in the build now. I need more time. So not to be rude, but before Diablo was released, you heard people say the best class is Barb, not anymore. Um, I honestly don't know what the best class is, but I'd probably argue that Rogue is, because in general, I feel like Rogue gives you the best experience throughout the entire game. Like early game, mid game, end game. That's what I've heard from most people, vast majority of people. I've heard complaints about almost every other class, like Barb's early game sucks, but the end game is good. And then I've heard that like, I don't know, Necro is like just slow in terms of mobility, but pretty good damage and stuff. I've heard, um, what's the other class? Druid. I think Druid is pretty good overall too, actually. So I'd argue that maybe it's something close between Druid and Rogue right now. Probably suffers a tiny little bit early, but nothing compared to anything else. Like, I mean, I've seen some guy with, like, running, like, Lightning Storm or something in, like, Caldera. I forget his name. He was the guy that was talking about Caldera and actually made me put it into my original speedrun route, but... Now I can't route Caldera in my run at all, because Lost Archives is just too good for a sort. Like, I, I used Caldera as, like, the first dungeon I'd go into after my initial route for speedruns. And if I was just focusing on speedruns and had ac access to the codex and stuff, I'd still do that, probably. But I don't know. kind of want this teleporter to die, because teleporters are annoying. That guy's cold and enchanted, isn't he? No, he's frozen. That's fine. Please, give me a proc. Please. I'm begging. I'm on my knees. We're actually getting a lot of passive gold out of this, I'm not gonna lie. I'm seeing a lot of like 200 gold batches on the ground now. Wanna grab the crest while I'm here? Could have done it after, but never hurts. Have I always been a speedrunner? Uh, I started speedrunning in like 2016, speedrunning Diablo 2. Ooh, fun, fun times, actually. And then once D2 Resurrected came out, I speedrun that, and I was very serious about it in comparison. I started getting a little bit more serious in original D2, but definitely got way more serious in this one. In, uh, in Resurrected. Spend the skill point? I can't. I have to hold five. 
It's unethical. I'm also going to claim my Renown XP at 39. Because I want to get into World Tier 3 as fast as possible. I'm going to actually have to start looking at gear and putting things aside now. Soon, probably while I'm doing all this maybe if I can. No, fucking wall me off, why don't you? I mean, I guess that's what he did, but... Don't. Don't do that. I had a legendary? That I'll check. I know it goes back to stash anyway, but still want to check it. No, the vampire. I hate when he teleports for a ride at the second that I'm about to do this. I lack the needed mana. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. Yeah, it's essentially like this this speed this me me doing this season replicant is going to be like me doing a speedrun normally now, because I actually have all the skill points available for the thing that I need. Will this be uploaded to YouTube? Uh, if I beat Fallen Temple, absolutely. I'm not sure if I will though. I hope he's shocked if I do, man. It's gonna be hard. I've never done it before, so I'm going in completely blind. Also, do we know what type of monster the main boss is? Like, is he considered a demon? Is he considered undead? Is he... what is he? Is there an elixir where I could deal more damage to him? Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Yep. Thank you, Templex. He has fire damage. That's fine. At the end of the day, I'm just gonna have to stack as much armor as I can before I go in. Resist is not gonna do anything for me. That's a nice armor chest piece thing. But gear wise, I have that that I need to keep. I'm gonna take a short couple of seconds to do some inventory management. Well, maybe not inventory management, but I at least wanna get some good pieces in the right spot. Uh, this here, that there. I'll have to look at the rest of the items I have after. I'm not gonna- I'm trying to avoid using the sword feature here. How much gold do I have? 294k. That's pretty fine, considering I don't really need to worry too much about doing many upgrades from this point. He's a demon and not a man. Who knows? He's a D-man. He's D-man. Do you guys think I should try and beat Curator without an elixir? Or should I beat him with an elixir? What do you guys think? Like, I have every single material except for Lifesbane. I'm not 100% sure on whether or not I've found enough this run. He's gonna pull me in, isn't he? I'm not ready yet. You don't see the nerfs on Sork? I'm taking a shit ton more damage than I usually would, bud. That's all I can say. I could usually run this place here and not really have to worry about ever taking much damage. But now I'm actually taking damage and it's scary. Like there I just took like a half hit for no reason. Oh 
Where's this other guy? He's chilling. Okay, let's take a look. I saw my movement speed at max of aid charge. Wow. Those are also good. Those are probably like boots I should keep as a backup pair for something. Chain lining is useless. Yeah, I'll play Sork. Do you have a guide for the speedrun? I'm gonna try my best to get something out, like, before the launch. <laughs> we have like, what? 24 hours until the season? Oh crap, I'm doing my old pull. Whoops. I was supposed to tell you there. Twenty-two hours. Okay. Yeah, I'll try my best to get something out. I'll at least upload this vod so people can watch it. Assuming I kill Fallen Temple. I don't know if I will, man. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be fucking hard, isn't it? Also, is Faded still here? Faded, if you're still here, how long did uh did uh, Keevan end up getting to T4? And how long did it take? Like overall, the whole run. Because I kind of need to get a good idea. Like, did he ever beat Fallen Temple on it? I need to get a good idea of like how long this run's actually going to go for because I really don't want it to go for four more hours. If it does, I might actually have to like call it. I'm pretty exhausted and I don't want to be here until like 8 a.m. Uh, uh, uh. See, like this is just me taking so much more damage than I'm used to. No, come back, you bastard. Uh, it's 40 now. You have to- you can enter at 39.5 and level to 40 while you're in the middle of it. Okay, let's take a look again. Um, hmm. Wow, that's actually a good enemy. I saw mana cost reduction CDR. I think the only thing I saw that is kind of trashy is try and buff duration or something. He's four hours in and level 55 right now. What? Who? Keevan? Oh, he's probably doing the usual speed run though. I need time to prepare that. The smaller growths are protecting the larger. Like he's doing it with like all aspects and stuff. Like he hasn't done aspects and things like that. But if he's level 55 in that time, that's pretty good. Four hours though? What? I need time to Gives me some idea. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm at the point, the same point, right? Like where we're like farming, farming this place over and over and over. Is he just doing Quadragon until then? Like, is he literally just spamming Quadragon until 60? Is that all he's doing? Because that's, that's what I was going to do. I was just going to spam Quadragon. What class? He'd be playing Sork too. He's a sock player. Sock and he's doing Kojigan, I see. Four hours in. Like, is he like four hours, 50 minutes or something? Like, what the fuck? That's so insane, I feel. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm gauging time wrong in like actual speedrun conditions, but I don't know. That to me sounds so absurd. Oh, I didn't kill the elite. No, no, come back. Come back. Fuck. I'm wasting time here. 
He's not even in four hours yet. Damn. Guy's gaming. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know if it is anymore. I guess the other thing is that my run has been very, very, very heavily influenced by RTA. Like, I haven't been able- I've been doing dungeon farming methods and stuff, and I've had to reset. Like, often. And the reset button didn't work for me at all. Like, not a single time. Stream crashed. Oh, did his timer restart? 49 to 55 is four hours? Are you serious? It's that slow? No way. No way. No way it's that slow. Bruh. Okay, this run's gonna take a lot longer than I thought. Holy. Um, I didn't... I don't have this much time today. But I guess the strat kind of remains the same, maybe. Maybe I just don't do Fallen Temple, I guess? I don't know. Either that or I just have to game harder. I don't know which one it is. Uh, let me get. By the way, where do we get Lifespain from? I want to actually farm it. Is it just events and stuff? And how much do I need for the uh, un the undead slaying Alexa? Because I think I would farm for that. It makes sense in the route. only need five. Stop giving me the suck, dude. That's not nice. So do you get them from event chests, right? I guess I'll just do a couple of events outside the world, maybe? Like, after this run, I could probably just run around and do an event outside in the real world. Outside of, uh, what's his name? Did I get that? I did. Cool. I was gonna say, if it took him four hours to get to 55, I would have been like, yeah, that's, that's hopeful. But if the split itself from 49 to 55 is 4 hours, that's insane. What? That's so long. 1 to 55 and 4 hours is insane. Under speedrun conditions, that's normal, in my opinion, maybe. We kill Curator in like 2010. At 35 right now. So... in speed, Well, maybe not 2010, it's probably more like 215 with the nerfs, 215, 210. Uh, 220. And actually, with the capstone now having a cap, no pun intended, but with the capstone having a cap, it's going to be longer than that now. It's just a lot safer too, that's all. So actually, like, if he's actually doing, like, real speedrun, like, normal speedrun conditions, like speedrun.com style, where he has all the codecs and stuff, maybe it's, maybe it's actually normal. Which means I'm, like, not, I'm trailing behind by not much. Who was it? Faded, Faded was in here, right? Fader was the one saying how long it was, and I forgot what he said. I'm not ready yet. 
The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. I think I'll clear this room and then I'll go outside and do an event. If only I checked my material count at the beginning of the run to know how many mats I actually had. Maybe I did. Maybe it's in the VOD somewhere. I definitely didn't need to go this high level, by the way. I would have. I should have stopped by now. Let's go back to town and figure out what we're doing. Um, it was Edge Masters, Gohan. Okay, so I think these boots come on. I'll probably keep these. They look good. What prior do I want? This arm is amazing. Uh, anything else good? Hint chain lightning. Damn, how is this even higher? I think this might be better just because of raw armor. That's a lot of armor. Crit strike damage, damage to stunned, vulnerable. This is a really good ring. I think I'll actually equip this. This is also a good ammy, I think I'll equip this. I'm gonna remove the things from it though. I wanna drop this, this, this. What was the other thing I just picked up? I picked up uh, the boots. Okay, everything else can go. Anything else? Uh, all junk. Looks good. Um, let's quickly do aspects again. I'll go pop an event chest outside here and see what happens. Um, we need retribution. We need might on this one. We need shed misery. I think that's it, right? Yeah, that looks like it. Wait, no, I need to swap these two. Prodigies is still good. What's the other one here? Uh, Prodigies? And usually I have Elementalist. I, oh, Piercing Cold. Okay, Piercing Cold. Okay. I'm gonna go do a quick event. I want to see how much lifespan I actually get from this. The daughter of hatred demands blood. I'm out of mana. Tree of Whispers completion. I'll have to look into it after, maybe. You thought it had to be a Kedgestan event? Oh, maybe it's the mastery I need, actually. I was not paying attention to the fact that she was actually devouring monsters. Whoops. I mean, either way, I did a couple of events at the beginning. Someone, so, so like, who, who was it in here? Someone, someone in here said that apparently life, lifespan comes from any event. 
I mean, either way, I would spend this much time going to farm whatever it is that I need. Like, I'd go farm this life's main if it was the case. One bite berry. I mean, if you guys are saying it's in Kajistan, I'm going to go there for a little bit, but... Where? Like, is it in this part of Kajistan? You can do the cheer quest. I thought about that as a backup plan, making a bunch of characters. That'd be the absolute backup strat. Yeah, you can start it at 39.5 and then complete it later. But, I mean, obviously I've just been here a little bit too long. I was in Kordragan too long. I was not paying attention to my level. Uh, I don't need these anymore. I just need to keep these gems. I'm going to take a quick look around and see if I find anything, any bite barrier or anything. Uh, no, not bite barrier, lifespan. I need time to do that. Not seeing anything. Not seeing anything. I need time to do that. Yeah, I've seen. I think that's an intended change. Which is a good change in my opinion. It means you don't have to live in Helltide anymore. Last pain, there it is. Four. Alright, I'm going to the town and I'm doing the cheer quest. And then we're going straight in. You just passed another node? Don't care. <laughs> Don't care. I, I only need enough for one. The new if I was really, really scarce on materials, I'd just be like, alright, let me remake a character and well do this cheer quest over and over. Like five times or whatever. Thanks. I I'd be probably really lazy about it. Yeah, see, there's one lifespan. So that's five. And I found- I, I definitely know I saw Angel Breath drop off a sign. I think it came out of one of the event chests or something like that, that I did early on into the game. Maybe not early on, but yeah. So just to confirm... Um, Undead Sling, Lifespan, Galavine, Blightshade, Grave Dust. I've definitely seen Grave Dust enough. Yep. Alright, let's craft it. What's this for? Killing Creator. Killing Curator. I've just realized I haven't been putting points in. Um, I'm 39, so I actually have a spare point left over right now there. Uh, fireball enchant needs to be swapped out, so we need to do that, that. Um, actually, I have Blizzard already. I think I take one off of that. Put it into Dev Blaze for now. You just need to be 40 while you're in the dungeon. Like you can be- you could hit 40 literally the second before that you're about to get to him and then it, it's enough. Oh, I didn't upgrade my weapon at all. Mm. Should be fine. Damage to close enemies is also nice on this too. Alright, let's uh, swap the aspects over. Firebolt. Actually, I want ice shards on right now. Owie. Ice shards. I need Whoa. time to prepare that. Blizzard. I need time to do that. Yeah. 
I need more time. I need more time. <clears throat> no, I'm just gonna keep Blizzard on. It's another guy here anyway. I need time to do that. Get angry. Actually, we'll keep our shots on. A bit of XP on the way, it doesn't hurt. I'll swap it off after. Oops, Animus. I need time to do that. Yeah. What's the point I, I would normally have in? I guess for testing purposes, I'd probably still just put the blizzard point in. Question, does the physician, like, is he the only one that can res them? Out of mana, Someone said the other day, like, why do speedrunners never focus him? I don't know, I didn't have the answer for them. <laughs> oh. He's the only one that can res? Oh, okay, today I land, I guess. Wait, eye shards. <laughs> I feel so stupid now. When when I when shit like that happens. I need time to do that. Whoa! Fucking hell. And like I was literally backed into a corner there. That was scary.
Yeah, I actually took the time to farm aspects in this run. For anyone unaware. This build looks solid so far. You definitely need to play it in a certain way, that's for sure. <clears throat> I need more time. Oh no 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 no. Okay, oof, that was close. I wasn't paying attention to the big guy's smack. Sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. Those guys being in there should be fine, they'll come back to me eventually. I do want to kill this one while I'm kiting, but... Out of mana, once again. So the damage is going to be a lot lower on him this time around. I don't care so much about the potion lacking. Oh yeah, I still get hit by that, right? Fucking corpse pose are going to be the bane. Yeah, Those are the scary things. I also forgot to use my deep freeze earlier. That was pretty bad damage there. Out of mana. Man, this is a lot of HP to get with the uh, last part of this.
Oh, I panicked there. Had the crossbow. Whoa! What the hell? We got the legendary staff! Oh! The legendary staff! Legendary! I will use that in this part. <laughs> Split? I did. What to three is unlocked. Well, I, I say World Tier 3 is unlocked when he dies, so. Not ethical. <laughs> like, man, I've got other staves in here as well that I could use. Gimme. There we go. Alright, what do we have that we can work with? Mana Costuration, Shrine Buff, Unbroken Tether. Stable stuff. Smiting loop. I have to keep most of this stuff. I actually probably should uh, consider stash for a little bit. But honestly, like, I'm going to get to the level for this stuff soon anyway. And Kodragon probably isn't going to give me most of this shit. I think I just get rid of most of the stuff I have. Maybe I'll get the boots. Because I like movement speed. Movement speed is nice. What I'll do is I'll probably just look for whatever's the best out of all this. So I've got that. That stuff can go... See, I've got this this item power stuff as well. Like these are fine. Alright, so this can go. This can go. I don't want wands. Those pants can stay. Those boots can stay. I guess both of those boots are kind of trashy. That ring is kind of trash too. But yeah. Well, sure. Let's just get rid of it. Get rid of these two. What's the option out of the Amis? Move speed, total armor, conjuration, CDR. I'll keep those two. Def Whoa, that's that's one. That's one. That one can go, I think. Well struck. And then I think I salvaged the other two. What do you need? <coughs> Yeah, I'll salvage this one. Can I, what what does it take to actually upgrade this right now? I will go for the upgrades on this because I think I would have had enough materials, probably. And as long as I'm above 58 million, we're ethical still. Ethical-ish. <laughs> I mean, obviously this staff is a big biased one, but shh, we don't talk about it. Uh, I want to see what it would actually take me to get on this. So it takes Baleful. Would I have had these? I'm not sure. I'm not... Oh, dude. I feel like I would have had these. Do you have these? I'm confused. Baleful Fragments? Or does it only come from salvaging like the legendaries? Like the other legendaries? I don't think so. Not while I'm in it's from salvaging legendary weapons. Well, we have a legendary weapon to salvage, I guess. Let's see if we get some. Because I've salvaged a few. I've salvaged a couple of weapons already. What will it be? Let them Whoa, why did I upgrade? That was the wrong button. Erm. Um. Yeah, I get three from that. What the fuck? Don't give me that shit, chat. I do that's not even a, like, that's not even like a high legendary. I'm pretty sure I would have seen at least one more. Um, where is it? Control. Oh, you caught a rare one. Uh, I wanted to put misery on these as well.
Okay, let's go to back to Menestad. Yeah, I don't know if that's a change that they intended, but it seems like we're getting forgotten souls from legendaries. Not while what a pinkish. Oh, I gotta change my spec back a bit. I um, know, oh it's fine actually. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. Hold on, wait, the spec has to go back. Uh, um, I'm not used to doing it backwards. Um, where did the extra points go? Am I too high level? I'm confused. What am I missing? Oh, it's the fireball points. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Okay, everything's fine. Wait, am I in, am I in world tier 3 right now? Yes, I am. Holy, a damage. Oh, so what's the end of my minimap? True. I didn't think about that, but. Bro, the damage is insane, like this. This stuff is actually unethical. But it's fine, because, you know what, maybe one of the lucky guys out there is going to get one of them. Maybe it's going to be me on season release, and if it isn't, I'm probably just going to use that fucking 542 item power when, when I get to level 40 anyway, in like, five runs. I find it interesting, actually. Are all these items here from last runs? Like I said, it resets the progress of things, but it doesn't seem like it actually did. Oh, I just remembered elites all have like two affixes now. That's actually scary. Sometimes. Unethical damage. It really is, actually. I need time to do that. Right, I forgot. Yeah, it's Quadragon until 60. Um, I don't have a Nightmare Dungeon. I could technically probably go and get one, but yeah, uh, we need the passives, the safety passives. Because these guys are going to start bonking hard and I don't like that. Especially that guy. It's gonna get a bit more sketchy chat, that's for sure. I don't know, I'm not sure if Kodragan to 50 is the best. Like, obviously, if your class can clear Nightmare Dungeons, you probably just run Nightmare Dungeons, but Sorceress is Sorceress. And this is, like, uh, arguably, like, one of the best. Apparently, according to Keevan and Fated, they said that it was tested, that this, this is still better. But I don't know. Again, I don't know how extensively these guys are testing things. I'm not ready yet. Ooh, 
Whoa. I need more time. I feel like my luck in this run has been so insane. You watch Season. Season will be so bad. Whoa. It's getting sketchy now though. These guys are actually hurting like crazy. I need those gear upgrades like soon. I don't know what level I get them, but I hope it's soon. Just saying. Should probably create a separator actually. What's the best way to get a sigil now? Uh, probably a whisper or something. I don't, I don't know like where you can drop them. When, when, when can you start dropping nightmare dungeon sigils? No like what's the first place you can get them? This place is Whispers don't give keys anymore? What does? I could pick that up on the way back, but yeah. You get your first from Tree of Whispers. Yeah. One person says you don't, one person says you do. I'm confused. The smaller growths are protecting the larger ones. I'm not ready yet. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. I thought I was supposed to get the first key. That guy just exploded. What the fuck happened to him? What level do I get these? 43, 43, 44, 46. It's all pretty much 43. I'm not too worried about the boots, but I really need the rest. No, why do you have to leave? Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Stopping stopping a weird knight dude that does knight things. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. I'm gonna say right now, chat, this is probably not hardcore viable. I'd be shitting myself right now. Not unless you're an absolute gamer.
Oh, the wall. Oh, boosted. I mean, you can't get boosted on season one start. Can you now? I mean, you could technically do bell ringing. That didn't get fixed, I don't think. Favorite zone in the beta, really fun when they were level 30. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're leveling kind of fast, but I guess the staff is also a bit of an outlier. The only issue is I've never- this- this whole part of the run is blind for me, right? I've done a lot of 1 to tier 3, but I've never done a 1 to tier 4. And that gets scary from this point for me because I have no idea, like, what gauge of power I have. I've never done Fallen Temple. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I have to flame shield through that. I have no idea if that does a lot of damage or not. I'm gonna give Fallen Temple a try at 60, but again, I'm blind going in. I have no idea. Never played it before. Mechanics, I, d I don't know. Like, I'm probably gonna die a couple of times on the first attempt. And I'm not gonna, like, if I have close attempts, I'll probably just call it there if I, like, struggle. Also, where is it, by the way? Where is Fallen Temple? Can someone tell me? Because I actually don't know. <laughs> where is it? Stop it. Northeast of Fate's Refuge. I'm gonna need a better reference than that. Like, Kyovashad. What's Fate's Refuge? <laughs> Dude, my game crashed. No! Why? Stop. Logging into Battle.net. Maybe that was a hotfix? I don't think so, I didn't get any updates. Alright, this is my character. Yep, all good. I hope it didn't put me in Kyovashad, that would make me sad. It probably will. Uh, this is a playlist, but um, if you want songs, you just have to type exclamation mark song. I don't have links to my playlists or anything like that anywhere. Bro, my game is lagging. Okay, everything's still the same. Still ethical speedrun. Oh my goodness, the game does not like when you first launch, apparently. Rune stuff. Ow. Still, everything is the same. The thing I'm shocked about is the fact that we've stayed above 58 million. Big chillin'. 
The only thing I'm not sure about is if I'd be able to upgrade legendaries from this point, so maybe that's not going to be the most ethical part about this run, but yeah. This guy's just chilling at the back. What's he doing? Okay, he's chilling. Bah. So I think what I'm- I am still gonna go through with the armor upgrades, and if it's unethical, then I don't know. Just like shave like 30 sec- 30, 30 minutes off of it or something like that. 30 minutes to an hour. Give or take. I mean, at the end of the day, I could keep running this on shit gear and probably still survive. Which I might actually do. I might just do it all the way to 46. So that way I can just get them all done in one go. Show you guys that you can do it. Um, is a mod here? Is Leela here? Anyone? Let me permit you. I got you. Link it. Oh good. I got it, Layla, thank you. Oh, so it's like literally just to the left of where I am now. <laughs> okay. That's easy. I probably just run straight from Quadragon there. Like it's just like it's literally there. <laughs> I can't believe I've never been to Fallen Temple before. Or well, like I don't I've been there to get like power leveled on softcore. I never made it there on hardcore because I died. So the smaller growths are protecting the larger ones. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. Well the cool thing is we got to T3 in under four hours and thirty minutes. Using pretty much the most ethical farming methods, give or take like a few time loss situations where I got ganked by butcher and you know, trolled myself in some ways. I need more time. Being stabbed there is not fun. I just really hope that the uh, level 60 is not super slow, but it probably will be. I'm pretty sure that's where experience starts to really fall off a lot. So maybe 49 to 55 actually is like a long time. If it is a long time, I might have to call it quits today. I Like I said, I don't really want to be going longer than like 8 a.m. my time, which is like another three hours. But we'll see. We'll see what the run is looking like at by that time. Alternative is that maybe I could pause my timer and come back later or something, but I don't know. 50 kind of has an XP cliff. Yeah, I think it does for memory as well. No, I've never played Rust. Need more time. 
Whoa. Was not paying attention. Sorry. I just realized I haven't put any points into skills at all recently. Let's do that. Probably want that. Maybe more into protection, to be honest, because I am lacking protection. If there's one thing that you learn in live chat is that protection is good. Always use it. This guy is starting to become a bit of a problem. Oh shit, I forgot to split. Wait, no I haven't. I'm not 45 yet. Forty-nine to fifty is five hundred k. Fifty-nine to sixty is two point five mil. Hey, hey, hey! That's not good. He hates me? Who? Who hates her? For 50 plus we could go to Nightmare Dungeons? Uh, I don't know. I mean, probably. Maybe. It's just, I just, I'm worried about like pools and stuff, you know? This is a lot of XP. Like, Even swapped over to Nightmare Dungeons around 56. Hmm. Maybe. Well, like, a tier 1 Siju is like, what, 53, right? Is that what the monster level is? Why waiting 10 seconds? You have to. You keep aggro when you do this pull. T1 is 54. Okay. thing is I already have a really high item power like what's the difference between sacred and all that anyway at that point I already have a really high item power stuff like I don't really feel like I need better most sacred items like what they go up to like oh I guess they go up to 700 no man I'm stupid well I can go a little higher I think I need time to do that I forgot about that Durr. for some reason I'm thinking sacred is like the same as like 500 I think it's because I've seen so many low level sacreds. I'm not ready yet. I think I overpowered there. Yeah, I definitely overpowered. Yeah. 
split. Thank you. I need time to do that. So what, do you guys think I should go into Nightmare Dungeons now or something? You've seen secrets from here? Not yet. What do you guys think I should do? Can I gamble sacreds at 45? Do we know if that's possible? I'm curious. You can only gamble them for 53 and up, okay. Good to know. Should save my obols then. I think I'll go to 56, do that last like upgrade on my gear with the other items that I have, and then I'll look into the sacreds. The only issue is like with sacred items, you can't really like put shit onto them without having like forgotten souls or whatever, and I guess you get a couple of forgotten souls early from other stuff, like now. I need more time. I don't know. There's a lot of, like, random factors, for sure. My nice. Shadow Resistance Elixirs, low. I might actually use that in the, uh, dungeon, maybe. Just put your main aspect on Ami. Oh, true, actually. Where'd the other guy go? Did he die? What's he doing here? Come here. I think maybe I'll go to 46 or something. I have I have a 400 item power Ami. I didn't save one though. Do they have to be below that? Yo, what up, Kieran? Long time no see, dude. I've savaged a couple of legendary pieces already, like jewel, jewelry, I think. I've seen a decent chunk of legendaries this run. But either way, I'll still I'll still do it on a 400 item pair, and we can just say that you know it like it doesn't have to be a hundred percent perfect, but this is going to be pretty close anyway. Like you know, obviously it'll be off by like maybe half an hour to an hour, maybe up to two hours depending on your luck and RNG. So... Like, I'm trying my best to keep this as close to a season season start simulation, but it's not going to be perfect, you know. 
I've even set like, oh, I'm dead. Fuck, first death. <laughs> well, first death in Korjagan at least. I killed them already. Or, um, I guess I just wait. Um, so, like, early game I was doing Lost Archives up until, like, 20, uh, no, 30-ish, using, like, Firewall mostly. And then after 30 I switched over to Ice Shards and started, like, around 31 or something I started switching over to Ice Shards and completing, like, all my Aspect Dungeons. I would have just routed the order that I did it a little bit differently, like, I would have probably unlocked Prodigies and Control first, so then that way the, dun the other dungeons would have gone a bit faster. I still think for the sake of it, I'm probably just going to put the right aspects where they're meant to go. Like, I'm not going to worry too much about those legendary crafting mats, because that's probably just like an extra, I don't know. That's all RNG, like, if you get it or not, I suppose. And sure, it might be a bit of an outlier, but I've had a lot of, lot of things drop, but yeah. I'm not ready yet. Uh, Kieran. I don't know if I really want uh, stuff like that promoted without me knowing about it. Just as a heads up. Especially considering you haven't been here in a while, man. I do wish you luck with the site and stuff, but yeah, please don't promote like that. And out of mana. Yeah, it seems like the level the level stuff doesn't really matter so much anymore. Ooh, we're up to the point where Veil Crystals drop now. Ooh, fun. I was not even paying attention to that. Did they auto-pick up? Do you actually have to pick them up? The smaller growths are protecting the larger ones. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. Well, they auto-pick up nice. I don't know, I haven't thought about it in a long time. I haven't had to farm on like a high level character for a while.
What did I do for leveling? Like 1 to 20. Uh, I did a couple of events at the beginning of the game, did some dungeons that I need, like piercing cold aspect. I did dr Dead Man's Dredge. And then I ran straight into a... Uh, what's the name of it? Whoa, that's close. Um, and then, yeah, did Lost Archives with Firewall for like 30 levels. Oh, that guy reset, unfortunately. I need time to could, I, could I repeat what you said about the link? I said please don't like promo like that. Like promote, self promote, I guess. I would want to like check it out if I were to check it out myself if I were to allow that kind of thing. I do wish you luck with the sight and stuff, but yeah, just, I don't know, <laughs> I, like I have no idea. <laughs> All good, dude. Lost Archives. Lost Archives is the one. All right, I don't know when I should move on from here. Maybe around 47 I'll try. I feel like 6 level difference should be okay if I do a couple of events. At this point I'm gonna start winging it I guess. Only a few of us are allowed to self promote. It's not true. I don't know, in general I'm just not a huge fan of that kind of stuff. Out of mana, once again. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. Bro, that guy's scary. I'm gonna first never early on him. I don't wanna deal with that. Not when I'm under gate like this. I think maybe for some of my other stuff I probably don't actually need to worry too much about aspects. Like I feel like disobedience isn't really doing that much for me anymore. I could probably get away with just putting armor, like higher value armor on and it'd be fine. Definitely starting to feel a bit of a damage drop off now. Maybe we go look for a sacred piece. I just don't know what the best method is after this, like, do I go for whispers, try and get some other things? Seneca tube? Not many people are going to reach this point. I'm telling you now, this is me definitely showing the extreme. In solo play at least. In group play, yeah sure, they'll probably be doing this and maybe a bit faster. But in solo play, like, I don't know. Yeah. And it definitely slows down a lot. Like, it, the XP value slow down a lot after this. But the one, f 1 to 50 is like, you know, 20% faster. Uh, not, wait, no, not 20% faster. It's the other way around. Like, ah! It slows down a lot after 50, is all I can say. Ah, sorry. Gotta focus. Yeah. 
No, I'm dying. Oh, I have to plea freeze there. Absolutely. Can't risk it. The light didn't he? The light didn't he protect them? I don't know, what do you guys think? What do we do? <laughs> like, what, what's the best method? Where do I go? Whispers into Nightmare Dungeons or something? a menace. He has to die like this. Whispers into Nightmare Dungeons. Do it. Okay. I listen to the fans. I just actually forgot how to do whispers. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's been a minute. There's a bunch of stuff around here. Not while I'm in town. I'm not ready yet. Precious moment. 
time to prepare them. Out of mana, once again. I need more time. Out of mana. Have I been muted the entire time? I think I've been talking to myself, haven't I? I was pogging about a stuff. Nice. I'm out of mana. Say it again, please. I don't know what I was going to say. I don't remember. Sorry. Oh, I'm fucking dead, aren't I? I gotta get out of there.
Any website where I can check your leveling build? Um, my video, if you do exclamation mark WR, is a little bit outdated, but it's kind of the build that I still follow. It's just not, instead of it being like 1 to 15 and like 15 to 25, you just add 5 levels. That's all. Alright, oh, I just walked past the thing. Wouldn't have made it without you. I'm gonna check down here because I'm pretty sure there might be one in this corridor. Yep. I don't think I'm going to make it all the way, chat. Maybe we have to turn this into a 1 to 50 speedrun instead. What am I supposed to do here? I have to find a corpse, apparently. But I did. I need time to prepare that. I need time to do that. Finish World Tier 4 in a part 2. I don't really have time for that. The season reset is like in 24 hours. I mean, I guess I could. I could always pause the timer and continue it tomorrow. Ten hours in. You are? Is that how long it takes? I didn't think it would take that long to get to fucking 60. But I guess solo is rough, isn't it? Wait, Keevan, are you in- are you 10 hours in in season conditions or non-season conditions? Yeah, but I need to sleep between that time. And also probably try and make a video or something. Non season. What? What level are you? Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not doing this. I'm gonna have to do it in a part two, for sure. Oh, I couldn't do anything. Okay. I think I'll get to 50 and then I'll call it for the day. Maybe we just do 1 to 50. Instead, I'm out of mana. I'm not ready yet. Oh, 
Well, I'll probably do like one set of whispers and then we'll go from there. I'm not ready yet. How do you do these ones? Find the corpse. Defeat the butcher. I don't know where the butcher is. I'm always bad with some of these events. There's a cellar I could purge. What else is there? I think it's three. That's all I need. I need more time. In the circle you find a grave you need to click. I think I've done that already though. I don't feel like it did anything. I need more time. Goblin? Don't you fucking dare. I need time to do that. I lack the needed mana. I need more time. It's too strong. I need more time. Got him. Perfect. Nah, what are you doing? A legendary as well. My burden is too great. Um, I don't need these. What am I supposed to do for this whisper? I have to kill these guys? Ah, ah, ah. Done? Oh, I am done. What the fuck? Alright. Tree whispers. That looks worn. I can fix it. I can break that down. Nama dungeons are a bait after weapon. Okay. I Good dinner. It is done. Uh, what do I need the most? I, th I don't have legendary boots, so I go f uh, sacred boots, so I go for these, I guess. But I don't think I can even get them anyway. Alright, so we got our first thingy. 
Some baleful fragments. I cannot do that here. Lucky hit, damage to close, vulnerable. That's actually good. What can I change that off for? Probably put piercing. Wait, no, that's really good. We swap this one. We put prodigies on a new ring. Um, that's probably better than what I have. Roots of Fortune, lol. Why am I getting Fortune so much already? Okay, let's go back to town. Let's go to Kevashad. I'll start putting some aspects on, then we'll go. Town. What about the stuff? Oh, I need to put this on too. True. So let's see, what does it actually take to craft this? I mean, I'm going to still craft it regardless, but I want to see what it takes. Uh, control. So it takes 10 Baleful and this much Veiled Crystal. I should have that much by the time. I'm still ethical as well, I'm still above, but holy shit, that's costing a lot of gold. Uh, and then I think I put Prodigies on this. I found a couple of these, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I need this. Oh, you caught a rare one. All right. Um. Not while I'm in town. Can take what's left. Nice, we got a lot back. Big returns. I could probably even see if I can upgrade it, I guess, as well. Like, what can I upgrade it for? This much, this much. Yeah, that's reasonable. I'm not gonna go for the third one, though. The fourth one or whatever. It's not worth it. What item power is it, actually? 629. I don't know what the next breakpoint is, but it's probably the 700. Uh, let's go here. 725, I think it is. 65 and 725, right? Yeah, 65. Okay, we're cool. Tree of Whispers XP any good? I don't know, we just kind of tried it a little bit, but yeah. Did you get a sigil? Yes, I have one. One sigil. I don't know if I'm going to use it or do it, but we'll see. Apparently, according to Keevan, he's saying Nightmare Dungeons are a bait. So... Ah, home again, at last. Holy power spike again. Nightmare Dungeon should be good XP. The thing is, Kodragan is like... I'm always going to be under by two levels, right? And Nightmare Dungeons, sure, as much as they got buffed, I don't think anything actually beats this because of how quickly a sorceress can pull elites. Like, if I can't run a Nightmare Dungeon efficiently, what's the point of running it? And plus, I have to think about killing bosses in order for upkeep. And I can't kill bosses. So... I think that Kordragan actually might still be the faster method. Get a weapon 650 plus. Wait, why 650? Do you need 650? I've got one that's like 600, but I've enchanted it. Like 6629 was the weapon I've got. This feels fine right now. The only thing I'm scared about is my life. I'm not ready yet. My staff is really good. Like, this is a bit of an outlier run, but... I'm starting to think about it a little bit more. I do actually think Nightmare Dungeons are a bait. At least for this strat, to get to World Tier 4 as quickly as possible. Maybe after that you could consider Nightmare Dungeons though. Once you're like 70 or something. Mm. This is just getting scarier, that's all. It gets scarier every time I do the pull. Ugh. 
Ah, fuck. I want the wand. Ah, oh. Wait, I need the wand. Give me the wand. Like, you guys have seen my legendary drops. It's been pretty good. I've seen probably like 10 or more. Maybe in this run we'll do fifth. like, we'll do, uh... We'll do 1 to 51, and I'll see how long 51 takes, because if 51 takes, like, way too long... I, I want to compare the difference, basically. I want to see how long 49 to 50 takes, and then how long 50 to 51 takes. Yeah, I need to be 725. No survivors. This place is overrun. Even if it's not mathematically the best. I think it's not mathematically best according to other people, because the thing is people can't run this this way in solo. Like this is the only class that can efficiently do this many elites in a rotation like this. These these pools are usually like two minutes or less. And they're not sure you have loading screens to factor in as well, but And I'm not even using my defensive aspects right now either. Like, I, sure, I'm playing like a bit of a fucking psycho, but... I don't know if I got it. I didn't get it. I need more time. I'm out of mana. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I've heard 10... No. I actually don't know. Someone else can... Someone else would have to give you that. Yeah, the two Frost Never Charges aspect is really good. Frost Blitz is amazing. You know what's funny though? Like, I've had such good RNG in this run and I still haven't used all of it. Like, I did roll a full, fully fucking... I rolled a 35 uh, control aspect as my first legendary drop this run. A level, uh, like a 35% control at like level 14. I could have just extracted that and put it on anything. Like any big weapon, like obviously at this point I'd probably t put it on the sacred one to get me through maybe, but... <laughs> My hundred has been fucked. I need time to do that. As you guys can say, if Keevan is like, Keevan, if you're 10 hours in and you haven't finished the game yet, or finished the Capstone Dungeon, I'm not finishing this run today. I don't have 10 hours. I definitely didn't expect it to take that long. 
I just didn't realize that the XP fall off was that big. I need time to do that. The smaller growths are protecting the larger ones. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. Wait a minute, can you use reset dungeons on Quadrigan Stronghold? Or can you use that on Strongholds now? No way you'd be able to do that. I know it's a reset dungeon button, but I didn't think about whether or not it actually works. Nope, tested it? Okay, cool. I just didn't think about it for a second, I was like, wait a minute, can we actually do that? Try. Hey, don't say that. Not after the not after I just asked what I asked. People confirmed it. We well, gotta believe the chat, okay? We we would have big trust issues if we didn't believe chat, right? Even though half the time you guys are lying here. I'm kind of shocked by how much gold you actually get. Oh, I'm on the edge. Ow. Ow. About 16 and a mi 16 and a half for a level here. About 31 for Nightmare Dungeons. Interesting. I guess, yeah, the issue is that Sork probably can't run Nightmare Dungeons as well as other classes. So maybe Nightmare Dungeons is better for other things, but this is better for Sork. these knights from the vampires. Hey, Abba. I need time to do that. Let's see. I hit 49 like not long ago. I'd argue that it was. Whoa, I got the. I got the bow. I hit 49 at like 40, 5:47 ish.
That means you'd be 30 minutes a level more efficient. But still closing in on 9 hours to 60, I think. Quadrican to 100? I mean... Why not, I guess? It's gonna be the Sork solo strat, I guess. I could actually, like, I'm not gonna lie, I could see myself doing that. <laughs> I could definitely see myself doing that, just a troll. I did my old, old variant. The same you think you could do? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It would be funny as fuck. I'm not ready yet. If we just live here the entire season. I thought I would be on the edge to get him frozen, but I didn't. I mean, the one thing that I will say that's definitely a bit of an outlier in this run is that I am using a fortune chest, but... Dude, come on, I've seen two pieces of fortune drop. There's like no way I could say no to that. At some point, fortune will drop. It doesn't matter when. And does it even apply half the time? Probably not. Like, I don't know, isn't it only when I have a barrier? I guess I have a barrier. And a barrier now, yeah. Actually, never mind, it applies. It applies quite a lot. Is this strat viable in hardcore? Probably not. I mean, if you're a psycho, yes. If you're overgeared, probably yes. Just transform into a vamp. Surely just find that stuff in season one again? Yeah. True. I mean, to be fair though, I did find a 540 stuff while I was running through, so... Like, while I was running through Capstone, and that's realistic, I'd say. Like, finding a yellow stuff is definitely possible. It's not like I kept the legendary aspect on the other one. I'm not ready yet. Alarm stop. Thank you. I'm doing way too much, like, min-maxing right now. I'm, like, trying to, like... Occasionally, I'm like typing to people at the same time. Ow. But there's a reason why this build is like so defensive heavy. Like, you can see that obviously I've like taken into consideration that this is a really good build to have like rotations for. Because it's very rare, unless you get like insta popped or like screwed over by cold enchanted, that you won't really die that often. I've died once in Cordragon today. And honestly, it was probably because I deserved it. See that there? If you're not if you're not like quick with your reactions, you will die. Cause yeah, you have to be quick like that, like that. There is gonna be like a handful of times where you just have to like either limit test or fuck around and find out. This could get sketchy in some ways though, for sure. Like. Obviously there's a lot of shit going on. If I didn't have my teleport there and that guy stabbed me, I'm 100% dead. The thing I'm going to find funny is that everyone's going to try and do this strat and be like, Oh, why does it not work? And then that's the part where I get to say skill issue. Hardcore question? I don't know which one.
Feel free to ask again. Oops, right. I, need time to prepare I probably could have killed them with deep freeze there. I should have finished them. Damage definitely starts to feel like it's falling off here, though. I just hope you guys haven't heard me cough once. Because if I coughed once during this VOD, oh no, I'm so sorry for anyone's ears. My cough is bad. My cough is really bad. I'm like dying, that's how bad. Because I might have accidentally been muted and yeah, not realized. If you're going for hardcore at start... Oh, I'm not going for hardcore. I don't really, I didn't really intend to go for hardcore in the beginning there. Try coffee instead of cough. Coffee instead of coughing. True, I could try that. You think the XP nerf in group and speed to split farm balances out, or do you think they went a little bit hard with the nerf hammer? Uh, I think they went a little bit hard with the nerf hammer. I think the only thing that they really tackled is power leveling. And outside of that, they kind of just made the leveling experience a lot worse. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't mind it taking longer and stuff like that. And I don't mind them nerfing group XP, but they didn't really nerf group XP. Groups can still just fucking XP as efficiently as they once did, used to be able to. Oh, I didn't see the guy over there. Wah! Fucking A. That was last minute. Fucking panicking. I need more time. I lack the needed mana. You can see Sork beating Rogue to World First. Um, nah, say that to say that to Nightmare Dungeons. Tell that to tell that to the Rogue that can probably run Nightmare Dungeons at like level forty-five or something. Who does a whole Nightmare Dungeon? Even? Oh, yeah, yeah, they do the- oh, right, yeah, they do the- they do a- a thing in the entire time it takes for us to kill a boss, <laughs> yeah, true. They do the entire dungeon in the time it takes for us to kill a boss, that's so sad when you think about it. I'm telling you one thing, if I were to do this try in hardcore, I would have to have, like, ultra focus. I probably would never read chat, just saying. Oh, I have points available. Hmm. What to take, even? Probably just, like, precision magic or something? I don't even know at this point. I need more time. Do Nightmare Dungeons without boss? Yeah, but you need to keep up, uh, you need to, like, sustain sigils. And if you're not in a group, you don't sustain st sigils. We get a lot of Veiled Crystal doing this, which is nice. Oh, 
Like, I've done a majority of this run without upgrades as well. That's the other fuck part. This is probably, like, the only time where I've really gone out of my way to, like, upgrade. I don't even think I did Curator with upgrades either. They're starting to get a bit tanky now. Definitely starting to feel the damage fall off that you kind of expect around this level. But I guess I'm missing a couple of aspects too. I could look into enchanting as well. But that's all stuff that I would do in the season, I think. Wait, are we 50 by the way? I didn't split. No, we're not 50 yet. Almost. Yeah, you can start sigils before 50, I think. I mean, I haven't tried, but I'd assume so. Someone in here can probably confirm it or not. No, we didn't get it in sub six. I mean, if I didn't go like doing all that dungeon fuckery, maybe we would have. Blame it on the butcher. True, actually. Jeej. Six hours and 40 minutes, chat. That's all it takes. Kappa. Alright, let's see how long it takes from here. So that was like 13 minutes. Ooh, I'm lagging. Let's see how long it takes for me to get 2.5 of a level. Or like, yeah, 0.25, sorry. Because if it takes like way too long, then I'm just going to call it, I think. And maybe consider continuing it all tomorrow, but I don't know if I have time, dude. This is at least what 1 to 50 is going to look like, probably. I can also Paragon point in a second. It's a Paragon board. Uh, one, 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 one. Yeah, I guess we go up there. We have to have 20 left. And here... I'll put that into a line the elements, I think. You know the best part about this? I'm not even using, like, Might, Disobedience, or uh, Protector right now. Okay, let's put that there. And the Paragon board. Now right, we still got 20 points available, which is what we want. Because that, the five is for one level, and then the four Paragons that you get from altars. I think it's four you get from altars. Either way, 20 from Renown I'm missing at least, so that's that's one thing that we factored in. At some point soon I should be able to get sacred drops off these guys, right? I guess next level.
So wait, hold on. How long did my 49 take? If it was 5.47 and it's 6 hours, that's like 13 minutes. Let's see how long 51 takes. I've got that much time left, so I'll, I'll go to 51, I think. If... Uh, yeah, 51... Yeah, 51's a big maybe. Yeah, I guess we're going to test that in Strongholds, maybe. If it's not too bad, like, if it doesn't fall off too hard, like, can someone give me the difference between... 50... <laughs> you see 100 in 12 hours. <laughs> um, can someone give me the difference between 50 to 51? And... F wait, f yeah, someone give me the XP difference, right? From 50 to 51, and 49 to 50. Someone said 49 to 50 is like 500k, right? What's 50 to 51? Is that 2.5 mil? Because if that's the case, then it's realistically going to take a little bit longer. Unless someone was saying 59 to 60. I mean, you're more than welcome to post all of the, uh, all of the values if you want to. I don't know them off by heart, but if anyone wants to post all the differences, like in order from 49 to 50, and then you can, you can go up like 50 to 51, 50 to 52. I permit someone to spam the chat with an essay like that. I need more time. Uh, I'm pretty sure Rob has a spreadsheet somewhere on the differences. Uh, yeah, I could probably get rid of that point. It's just, it's good for might, um, MD. Uh, I don't have might on right now because I'm kind of just greeting and giga chatting, but might can definitely help a lot with the damage reduction that we're usually missing. Because what I do is, like, sometimes I might, like, cast might in between if I need, like, if I'm scared and I need DR. Because you get 20% when you just, like, you can cast it at nothing. As long as you basic attack, you'll get the, you get the DR. So far, nothing has been super scary, luckily, but it could be bad. <coughs> um, yeah, based on the patch notes, it seems like Sork is pretty bad for survivability in the late, late game, especially. Even early, I'm feeling it. Like, I'm definitely having a lot more close calls, but yeah. If someone, uh, like I said, if someone can get those values for me, that'd be awesome. I just want to know, mostly I want to know 49 to 50 and 50 to the next. But I guess this is kind of already a good indicator, like if it's taken me 8 minutes to get 0.25 of a level. I need time to prepare that. Like it's like what? It took me 13 minutes, so let's, let's say for arguments like I round up or round down or whatever, it's like about 13 minutes from 49 to 50. And if it's taking me 8 minutes to get 0.25 of this level, that means it's going to be 32 minutes until I get to 51. Which means that essentially it's... The difference is about, like, three times as long doing this. The light didn't protect these knights from the vampires. Forty nine is six hundred and eighty nine K difference. Fifty is a hundred Okay, yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, that looks about right. I was gonna say like roughly six hundred K. Ah oh, fuck, I might die here. No, I'm good. And it gets worse because mobs will get lower. They don't get lower in strongholds.
Like, I'm never going to be below the level, so I don't have to worry about that. It'd obviously be worse for people who are running, like, traditional dungeons, but Nightmare Dungeons would be the only play for most people. Oh, that was a close call. See, shit like that. Cold Enchanted just gets so scary. Cold Enchanted starts to actually get scary. Wait, I can literally just look at my level right now. Okay, yeah, so it's one point... I should have looked at it. I should have looked at it on the thing, but yeah. So if you're saying that it's six, 600k, it's going to be about the same. It's going to be about 2.5 times longer. So that means if it takes me 13 minutes to get from 49 to 50, then it's probably going to be like arguably around 30 minutes for each level from here. How long is that? 30 minutes times 10. That's like another 6 hours or something. No. That's, that's, that's not math. Hold on. I can't think right now bro. I'm trying to fucking focus and play. And think and brain. 5 hours. I definitely don't have 5 hours today, but I can do 5 hours tomorrow, for sure. So yeah, maybe we maybe we call it soon. I'll get to 51. I'm not ready yet. Out of mana once again. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've unlocked another Paragon. The vampire didn't come. The light did not protect Gotta wait for the explosion. I need time to do that. 
They cap out at 75. I'm gonna assume the same for uh, World Tier 4 for 95 then, right? Yo, what up, random red? How you doing? Please don't kill me. Thank you. You're on D3 at the moment? What? Why? Oh, my failed telly. Whoa. four is too expensive fair that is fair actually I'm not ready yet the light did not protect these knights from the vampire I should actually just flame shield there in future okay we got another paragon point which means we have to go into that I have time to do that what happened, Kevin? What does that what does that say? Someone tell me. Give me a quick TLDR. Or do I actually have to open it? Level requirement's gonna be removed. Lol. Perfect. That's not so bad. I mean, doing 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 the capstone at 40 and doing Quadragon is probably like a lot safer and a lot more chill. You might die in there a lot at 37 if I'm being honest. Alright guys, serious question though. How am I going to set up this video for YouTube? I need to know. <laughs> Obviously to all the, or for all the people watching on YouTube. <laughs> this will be funny to hear this kind of stuff. But I don't know. Like I don't know if I, if I make this video like a 1 to 50. Or if I make it a 1 to World Tier 4 Part 1. And then release Part 2 tomorrow. Assuming I get there of course. I don't know. I might not get there. What if I don't get that shot? What if I don't get that? What if I don't make it? Oh, that just means I have to consider Fallen Temple at like 55 now, don't I? Oh no. Now with the change. Oh, I wasn't meant to hit that. That was the wrong button. Fat finger! 
No. It's really bad because now that I don't now that I don't have deep freeze for the main room and that's the sketchiest room. I would say that 35 and like 55 seem reasonable to me. If they were to actually gatekeep you from getting into a higher world tier, I wouldn't care. Because at the end of the day, good luck to anyone who beats fucking Kareda before that. If you do it before that, you're a Chad. You're a Chad who probably deserves to be nerfed. Especially on Sork. I don't know, maybe other classes are stronger. I don't- I have no idea. But Capstone is hard, pre-35. I could do it, probably. But it would probably take me at least like an arm and a leg. I lack the needed mana. I don't know if that guy died. He probably didn't. I think I saw his icon on the screen still. I'm out of mana. On the bright side, ah! Oh my god, I immediately just spammed everything on the on the board as soon as I saw that explosion. <laughs> that was scary. I was trying to flame shield and I just hit everything. Even though spam keys, it depends on which panic, right? It depends on which panic you, Janus. And yeah, I purposely read your name, okay? Alright, I did that. <laughs> Great name, by the way. Reminds me of, like, The Simpsons, uh, prank calls. Bruh. He walled. He walled the boil. He's literally the protector. The smaller growths are protecting the larger ones. I need time to prepare them. The light did not protect these knights from the vampires. I'm telling you, the wallers, man. Sometimes they need to not. I definitely should have created individual level splits for like 51 and so on. That probably would have been the smart thing to do, wouldn't it? I need more time. Definitely want to get rid of that cold enchanted guy, because he's big dookie. Uh, it was, but apparently they're reverting it. No, what's with the wallers, man? We've passively farmed 445k gold or something like that throughout this entire run that I just haven't spent. So you know, you want to know what I call that chat? I call that gains. Alright, I call that gains. Don't even need to play the game, just need to speedrun to get money back. Wait, what kind of training is that, um, Thundercat? I might not be too familiar. Is that like something military related? Sorry for my ignorance or me being stupid. It is a proven fact that the streamer is stupid. Oh, I see. 
Oh, a skull. I should go pick that up on the way back. Ah, uh, what's up here? I want to check it. Blood orb. I'm going to die for it, aren't I? Yes, I am. I need time to do that. You didn't make it. Brutal stuff. Mm. I don't know anything about it, but that uh definitely sounds brutal. Like just reading the title alone. We got our next Paragon point. Let's go. How does Sork feel so far? I noticed that I'm a lot squishier. I need time to do that. But I'm kind of just playing around it with defensive abilities and living off of 24 7 copium. I will say Deep Freeze is a nice change. the other vampire reset but that's okay well he didn't he actually died what it's oh god cold enchanted i'm dead here probably no i have to do that oh my god that was a little too close that was not hardcore viable between the teleporter and the fucking cold enchanted i was having a fun time wasn't i what do you think jay was that a fun time was that a hardcore viable moment Huge intelligence node. Level requirement removed? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's still probably good to do that anyway. A real cheek clencher. Yeah. Uh, apparently, Adam, or uh, Pezradar on Twitter, said it. The other guy. I need time to do that. I'm still like I still haven't upgraded my potion, by the way. I'm still using level thirty potion or whatever it is. Oh, I forgot the skull, chat. I definitely forgot that skull in the other run. It's long gone. It's all ogre. Gonna have to pop this, I think. There is a better lineup for that, but I have not practiced it, so I just go with the lineup I know. I 
Uh, we're gonna get to 51 today, chat, and then we'll call it a, call it a day. And then what I'll do is I'll try and continue tomorrow. See if I can do the last, like, it's probably gonna be like, what, five hours of leveling and then probably like 10 hours of capstone? <laughs> nah, not 10 hours, but I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do it, man. I've never done it. I've never tried it. So. Sounds like a lot of fun. I'm not ready yet. Ones. I need time to prepare the light didn't oh, these those revenants that just stabbed me there, if I didn't have any single like unstoppable ability, I would be dead. I'd be dead. But it's fine. Yeah, I still don't know what to make the video title. I can't tell if I want to make it a 1 to 50 video or if I want to make it a... Speedrun to World Tier 4. Part 1. And then make a part 2. It's just that would be embarrassing if I tried to make a part 1 and a part 2 and then I didn't make it to part 2, you know what I'm saying? Could always change the title later, right? <laughs> Upload it as one, change it to the other. The YouTube things, obviously. I think the other guy might have... Yeah, he reset. Uh, horse go. All right, so it took me like almost thirty minutes to get to fifty-one. That's kind of kind of long. It's gonna be like a little bit longer, like each level as well. Like, all right, yeah, thirty-one minutes to get to fifty-one. Alright. GG chat, we pause there. I actually, I'll keep the timer running and I'll leave game and then I'll pause after the leave game. Like... I'll pause from the start game part. Alright, pause here. 6 hours, 31 minutes, 36 seconds. And we're at 51. Damn.